Hey guys. Hey Chris. <laughs> so are Chris. you not gonna say hey to me when I walk into the room? Hey, what are we doing today, you guys? We're doing something pretty awesome. I got markers. I got paper. We're gonna be doing something really cool today. Well, first of all, let me set this thing down. Some of you guys are saying there's too much content, there's content fatigue. You know what we say to that? More content. <laughs> That's how we listen to our audience. And so what are we doing today? This is a new thing that we're launching, another design fundamentals. And for many years I've been teaching at Art Center, teaching storyboarding sequential design. That's a fancy way of saying it. Sequential design. Doesn't that sound like very academic? Sequential design. Sounds fancy. What that really means is creating frames in a sequence to tell a story. And that's what we're gonna to do today. So this is a live work session. There's a shoot that we're planning to do. More on that in a little bit. So before we dive in today, I just wanna say hello to the ladies next door. Hey guys. Hey boys. How's hey it going? Guys. <laughs> hey Chris. How are you guys doing this fine Thursday afternoon? I, I'm excited. I'm excited to not be in the hot seat tonight. I'm excited That's good. to see Aaron and Mark sweat a little bit. Wait, so that means we're in the hot seat? <laughs> yeah. No, no, this yeah. is, uh, this it, is not, not a like hot that. seat situation, you guys. We're chill today. Yeah, this, is, right, this right. is chill. Super mellow, this is chill. super chill. And this is really for our motion community. But I just want to say this, in case you're not really interested in motion design, this is really about learning how to tell stories, and you can tell stories in sequence, as in a keynote presentation that you have to do. Because that is a sequence of images to lead up to a point. And so we're gonna get into this and there's lots of different kinds of storyboards. We're not gonna roll a title or anything. And it just so coincidentally aligns with us being featured on Motionographer today. So if you haven't gone to Motionographer, let's go to Motionographer right now. I'm gonna jump onto my laptop. Let me make this screen large and in charge. Aaron, look a little excited. Yeah, Aaron, bring a little <laughs> energy or you're gonna kick off someone, the show. <laughs> Check this out, you guys. Are we seeing the screen? Yeah. Motionographer, we're featured right here. This was supposed to be in recognition of us hitting 100,000 subs, but the way the internet moves, we're almost at 200,000 <laughs> subs. So we're thrilled, we're delighted, we're honored. You guys can check this thing out. They're featuring some of, I think, some of the most relevant content that we produce relative to the motion design industry. So check it out, we're on motionographer.com. Thanks you guys, thanks Joe, thanks Justin for featuring us. Really happy to be a part of this. And I'm gonna jump back to this new program that I'm using. This program is called Storyboarder. And Storyboarder is a purpose-built program. It's free for I'm storyboarding. The link. For storyboarding. I'm gonna show you where to get it right now. Okay. And I'm gonna close this part. If you go to wonderunit.com, all you have to do is give them your email address and you get to have this awesome program. So Chris, this is relevant for filmmakers, photographers, motion, motion designers. Yeah, who, who I could use this. Let me let me search for storyboarder. It's called storyboarder app. Let me see what they bring. Storyboarder on the app, iTunes Store. I think it's here. So you can download it for free and check it out. We're gonna watch this a little bit. Who's got their phones on? I'm trying on. to silence it. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's be pro here. So you can see them draw there. That's pretty cool. So this integrates with your tablet. You can use any program, mouse, mouse, whatever okay. you want. And I'm using it right now with my Wacom tablet because it's pressure sensitive. And it's really cool that you can do onion skinning, you can copy paste, you can change things. It's pretty awesome, guys. So go to wonderunit.com and check out the Storyboarder app. This thing looks pretty rad. So we're gonna fire it up. I'm gonna jump into Storyboarder right now and I'm gonna create a new document. Let me, let me close this thing. Now, you know what, I'll just work with what I have here. That's fine. Right. So this is the first shot. Mind you, I've been playing with this for just a few minutes ahead of this, and this is how we do our show. We kind of fly by the seat of our pants. There's no seat belt, no parachute. We just do this, okay? So All on the fly. Now, before I get into this, I want to talk a little bit about storyboards, what they look like, the different styles, and the tools that we use. In, while in the meantime, you guys be thinking about our story. Both Mark and Aaron are filmmakers, and they're mostly self-taught. Mark is a computer science person, and he's not defined by that, but that's what he studied in school, and Aaron's a finance person, and they're both now into cinematography, and as self-taught, what I wanted to try to do was to bring some of the fundamentals to you guys to hopefully help you become better storytellers and better filmmakers. Now, I'm gonna reach over to my left here. Okay. And ladies, tell me if I'm in the shot or not, but 
Traditionally, when we're talking about storyboards for the motion design industry, they're gonna look like this. And these are essentially photocomps. A little lower. They're, they're essentially photocomps, and we're using Photoshop to stitch images together to tell a story. This was a pitch we had done for Fox, uh, for the NFL or something like that. This is just one concept. So you guys might be used to seeing something like this. This is new to me because I had to teach myself what a storyboard sequence does. Now, some of you guys might be more familiar with this kind of storyboard. This kind of storyboard is done by an artist. This is done by Gabriel Hardman. He's a comic book artist. He's very talented. He, he's doing work for Marvel. I think he's done some work for DC, but these are amazing. Now you're sitting there looking at that like I am. I'm super impressed by his drawings. You guys, look at this. This Beautiful. is how he maps it out. It's so really looking awesome. at these, I mean, this reminds me of what a comic book looks like. So is this almost the foundation of what a lot of comic books use for the storyboarding process? Well, it's not necessarily the foundation of comic books per se, but if you look at comic books, you can learn a lot about how to tell stories in a frame. Got it. Whereas these frames are almost always the same size, a comic book's going to have lots of different sizes. They're going to have a whole page and they're going to design it for the entire page. So they're going to break the frame. Sometimes they're vertical, sometimes they're very skinny, sometimes they're really horizontal. Mm -hmm. So they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Okay, so thanks for you guys. For First of all, I forgot to mention to our lovely audience, we are live today on Facebook and YouTube in case you guys want to comment or play along. We'll be reading your comments. We'll be checking it out. That's Molly and Erica. Yes, I'll be reading that. your comments. So here's another storyboard, a pitch we, done, we had done for Major League Baseball. That's what that looks like. Uh, we actually produced this storyboard. If you search for this work, you can see how a storyboard sequence like this becomes a moving piece. And I'll, I'll put this here to you guys. We can talk a little bit about it. And, and what I didn't realize when I was getting started in motion design was that the boards that you produce have to be really tight because they're going to be, the, that's going to be your blueprint. Mm -hmm. but, but more importantly, for the client, that's what they buy off on. What do you mean when you say tight? Tight. Like, look, like people think that we grab the frames from the finished production mm -hmm. to show the sequence. But these are things that we made before we even hired a team to shoot the footage or anything like that. Got it. So that's one thing that I had to learn. Now, so these things require like an explanation too, right? Like when you show this to someone, well, you I want to you to look at it. I want you to look at it. The idea is if you looked at a storyboard and if it was designed to be a storyboard to communicate a story, you shouldn't have to explain anything. That's why I don't believe in captions. I don't believe in those arrows that they typically happen to indicate camera movement because when I use Photoshop, you see what's happening there, Aaron? You see the transition from live action or a draw drawing to live action? Okay, yeah. So you I see like that. now you can think through it. So what happens okay. at the very beginning? Let's learn how to read a storyboard sequence that Aaron will And I'm sorry, the audience, we only have two cameras in this room. You guys have to bear with me. Hold that one over there. I have to bring this over here, okay? But you guys can't. Why don't you guys get up? You can we hold it here? Side. No, because you can't see it. Okay. You stand okay. on this side. Just don't step all over my storyboards, guys. Let's, it's loose, guys. We're ha it's a Thursday evening. It's fine. Should I get a snack? If you need to get a snack, go get a snack. All right, here we go. You just ate. I, I kind of need that. Relatively, yeah. So let's keep it close by. Here's what I want you guys to do. Those of you guys that are watching, follow along. What do you see in the first frame, Aaron? Uh, like a typewriter. Okay, so what do you imagine happening there? Someone's writing some words. Okay, and then what do you see in the second frame? The keys you hit to make the words appear. Right, and then what do you see in the third frame? Okay, the, the finished paper that he wrote. The script. The script. Okay. And then, what is somebody writing here? Okay, they're like editing and whiting stuff out. Yes, they're writing on a something, right? We see that reverse shot. Okay. Glass or something. Glass. Yeah, some kind of glass. And the camera's seeing what they're writing. What happens here? What is that? I don't know what that is. It's another part of a typewriter. And then you see here, you see photos, you see a typed out script, and you see notes and things like that. Yeah. And then what happens over here? What happens here? High five. Here? Somebody's high fiving. And what do you see in the typography down there? Looks like there's some there's uh, marking up there. They're, they're yeah. marking it up. They're crossing so things out. What happens in the next frame? Then they're they're ripping they're it up, crumpling. No, they're not ripping it up. Is. They're crumpling it up, and they're going back. So back to the drawing board. Okay. These X's over these frames mean we're going to get rid of these frames. Okay. Well, when did that get decided? Well, we we design the sequence and we look at it and we say, okay, we need to remove frames. We need to add frames. So okay. we're we're moving things around. We're adjusting it so the story flows. Okay. Now. You guys don't know this, 
but this is, and I don't know this either, because this is like big baseball stuff, is that baseball is largely unpredictable, that things don't go according to the script. That's the concept. Right. Okay? So the, the writers and the pundits and the experts say, well, the Cubs should win this year, or they will never win. Mm -hmm. And then some, some kid interferes and grabs the ball out of the, the curse, if you will. And so that's why they're trying to write it, and then life happens like, no, we got to scratch it out. And that's the whole story arc. Got so it. You, you see now, now you have a little context yeah, about you what's going on. Yeah, explain it to me. Uh, no, no, you just need a, a fragment. Just a fragment, just because this was about, the assignment was baseball is unpredictable. It's kind of, it's okay. unscripted. And the so client gave us that line. Yeah. So we build out that, like, how do we communicate that as an idea? So you're okay. paralleling Visually. that with uh, actually writing the script, but then showing frames from an actual game. Yeah, you're cutting back and forth. We're intercutting between footage that we will shoot and footage that's available, B-roll if you will. So we're cutting back and forth and the, the sequencing, the juxtaposition of images back and forth tell a story. And then we also have the added benefit of voiceover. It's like, oh, once again, the Cubs curse or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It have strikes again. And then we see somebody here frantically erasing something and maybe they, they break the, the tip of the lead. And mm -hmm. see, you see right there, it's like mm -hmm. snaps. It's like it just doesn't go along Makes according sense. to script. Yeah. They keep asking if it's not the finished piece, how do you get the exact images that you need for the storyboard? That's a great question. How do we get these pieces? I go out and get a typewriter. I whip out my camera. I mm -hmm. start photographing it and, and bring it in. You produce it. Oh, wow. That's, that's, the, that's what we do. Old fashioned analog way. Now, like, I want to answer this question because a lot of people are thinking, can't you source these images from the internet? Yes, you can. We, we do that oftentimes. But the problem is, when you're getting images off the internet, one is they're not lit the way you want. They're not framed the way you want. Most, most images that you're going to find off the internet are really bland. They're, they're exposed very evenly. And the lensing, the way that the, the lens that they use and the angles are not dramatic at all because this is very specific. Very few people will do it like this way. Now, I just so happen to have scripts. I just so happen to have a really cool old typewriter, a vintage typewriter, and I've got this cool macro lens, and I start photographing these things. And Or you go to the prop room, and you rent them, and then you get the shots that you need. Well, I have a question here. Go ahead. So you, you probably need to get back into your mic. Okay. So, Molly, that's a good question. Thanks for asking that. So, this is literally how we build storyboards, guys. For photo, for like painted frames, okay? Yeah, yeah, for our for our purposes though, right? We're just gonna do something more rudimentary, right? We're not gonna actually go out and shoot stuff for the storyboard. We're just gonna draw it, right? Oh, shit. Just rip my yes, you are. That's the first step, Aaron. Okay, we are going to do something much cruder, and I'm gonna show you because there's a lot of polished storyboards. I'm gonna show you a few more, guys. And if you guys like this episode so far, please like it. Let people know. And just make sure, because uh, to tune in and stay with us here, it's gonna be a long one. I think we're gonna probably do two hours here with you guys. Now this is a pitch that we had done for, uh, for NBC years ago. So these are printed up, super glossy prints, and these are mock-ups, comps, photographed elements, and things like that. I'll show it to the camera, and then you guys can take a look at it. I see it. Okay? I got it. And then here's another one. Nice. Different concepts that we're gonna present to the client. So back in these times, you guys would print this stuff out? Yeah, because just we like actually you show them this thing? Literally, this is what we show them, except for it was probably mounted. So or like one of those little of thingies, you're like, boom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Question, so what's the difference between, say, a mood board and a storyboard? This looks like a mood board to me. It's not. Or style frame or whatever. And I'll, sh I'll tell you in a second, okay? So Mark asked a really good question. What's the difference between a mood board and a storyboard? A mood board is a random collection of things to create a feeling, an emotion, to establish the mood and the tone. Without sequence. The sequence has no meaning. This would be more of a mood board. Got it. It's just to show color. So let me let me give that to you guys so you guys can see And that. this one's a storyboard? That is the beginning of a storyboard, believe it or not. And there are many, many frames. Okay? Here's well, for one. a commercial, that's why it's for a bumper. That's why it's so a short. Bumper. It's yeah, like it's a bumper. It's a very short story. Because we're talking about brand identities for a network. So okay. we'd see an up next, we'd see some graphics, some footage from the show. These things generally are two to three seconds long. So that's why it seems so broken up. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, you guys were seeing this. This was done like probably that. over 10 years ago. So here's another one, you guys. And they're beautiful. I mean, people that work on this really sit down and craft each one of these frames. 
they use beautiful typefaces and then they they colorize it and they stylize it and all that kind of stuff. All right, so now you guys get a sense of the stuff that we're doing, okay? Cool. Give me that back. Now, we're gonna transition into what we're gonna try to do today. The same fundamental principles apply. It's just levels of polish. I almost fell out of my chair. Now, I'm gonna show you a storyboard that was done by an amazing artist. This was, I'll show it to you guys first. You guys can see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, this was done by an amazing artist. And this is for a music video that we produced for the Ravenettes for a project that was co-branded with The Gap called The Sound of Color. It was a super cool project. That amazing storyboard artist is actually me. So I was just <laughs> messing around you guys. This amazing <laughs> person that works wow. here. Super amazing person with a warm personality oh and a really God. good sense of humor. <laughs> and super humble too. No, I'm just saying like these are pretty crappy. These are pretty crappy, you guys. And this is how I do it. These are literally the storyboards that were drawn, photocopied, cut apart, and you can see there's pieces of tape hanging there, and we would draw the sequence. I'm gonna hand this over to Mark and Aaron and show you the next sequence, and you guys can see we built in transitions, how it moves from one moment to the next. This is our blueprint. Because this was an animated piece, we needed to know what all the key moments were. So are you using something to indicate that transition? Is there a... No. It's just just look, read go the, to the next frame. Okay. Like a good comic book or a flipbook animation, go ahead and look at it, you guys, and study it. You can see. This is for a music video for the Ravenettes. If you guys are so lucky to work with a band that you like, a music video could be an incredible project. Really fun. And we get to control the whole sequence. That's so far, so fun. good. You guys understand everything? There's some birds. Yeah, it's like a bird and... You literally just look at yeah. it and it Chris, should tell you. The How much of the budget goes into the storyboard? Well, for a music video, there isn't a giant budget but the storyboard is necessary. That's why we hired the best storyboarders, storyboard artist I can afford, which is me. <laughs> and do you charge separately for the storyboard process? No, because most of these projects we do on a firm bid, okay. meaning they give you a budget, you produce everything A to Z, right. and you're done. There is no breaking it down. You just do it or you don't do it. And when you do a music video, it's a labor of love. Okay. You put in the work that you, you put need in to do just more to get that thing than, done. Yeah, you put in way more work than you think you need to. Got it. Because you love it. Otherwise, you, people were working all day and night on these projects. Okay, so let's get into some of the tools and things that we're doing. Aaron, you cool? You understand? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we need to understand a few things. We, we need to know how to draw a little bit. We need to know how to frame the shot. So I'm going to do my best to teach you some of the techniques. Let's give people context as to what we're trying to do. Okay. So we've been talking and we want to get out of the studio, we want to shoot something outside, be able to use the drone, take advantage of the fact that we're in Santa Monica, and also the fact that Aaron is ripped. <laughs> R-I-P-P-E-D. Should I show the people? Yeah, keep your shirt on, keep your shirt on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, did you lunch? Yeah. Did you that's skip another, lunch? That's another, that's another episode. That's another episode. Okay, so Aaron is ripped. So we were thinking, we're just talking. Uh, what do we do? What do we do here? Okay. We're going to shoot Aaron surfing. Aaron likes to surf, and we want to shoot around Santa Monica Pier. It's a beautiful location. We've got almost 360 days of sunshine here, 72 and sunny. It's beautiful here in Santa Monica in <laughs> Southern California. So let's dream up a sequence to shoot. And make it look dreamy. Make it look good. Okay, so the first part of this process is for us to just think of, of words and moments, what we call story beats. We're looking for a little beat here. Okay. Okay, little moments. So let's not worry too much exactly about what that's like. Okay. Aaron, I'm going to suggest that you write with one of these pens, but don't crush this one. This one doesn't have any lead. It, it, it has lead. You just don't want to use it. Use so this. story beats, that's the process story beats. of yeah. getting so the let's, mood in words. So let's just talk it words. through and we'll write in words. Okay. Let's just use words here. Okay. Now, both of you guys are surfers. I'm not a surfer, but I surf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am not. I'm not good with the water, guys. I'm not good with water. I know my limitations. So well, let's talk about some shots. Like, imagine in your mind for a minute right now, every surfing movie you've ever seen, every action video, and kind of the moments that you remember are usually good moments. Right. Because the ones that are forgettable, you're not going to be able to recall right now. So think about all those movies. Let's talk about some movies that you've seen or TV commercials that you're like, that was a good surf movie. Like the remake of Point Break. Did you see that? I did. Okay. Keanu Reeves. Keanu, well, no, the remake. Oh, no. The, but the original is Keanu Reeves. Yeah. 
the, the, the remake was, was a little edgier even. I didn't say Okay, what other that. movies have you seen? How about Endless the, Summer? Endless Summer? You know like something one? more contemporary. Endless Summer mm-hmm. was a long time ago. Something that our young audience might know. How about, about this? Moana. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. Oh, well, live, live action. Live, live action. action. I'm glad you said that. Okay. Oh. No, I'm glad you said that because we're not making an animated film. Right. And so the principles that we're going to be talking about, proportion, scale, lighting, all those kinds of things are a little different because in animation you can control everything. Got it. If you want to make the, the waves so high, we can make that. The new Baywatch. The new Baywatch, oh, which right. I didn't see. I didn't see it. Nobody oh, I, saw that. I saw it. Like saw you it. and four other friends saw it, apparently. <laughs> One of the few movies that The Rock's in that just bombs. It okay. didn't do good? Yeah, it, it wasn't that great. Well. It did not do well. No. Okay, let's keep going, though. Uh, how about the movie where the, 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 the pro surfer woman, she gets her foot bit? Like by a shark? Oh, right. Yeah, I didn't see or that, that the horror Blue film? Crush. Blue, Blue Crush. Crush. That's right. That's not the movie. That's, that's not that's the movie. movie. Thanks for throwing out random movies. Because you have all this time, Molly, to research and find oh on IMDb God, you, surf movies. You just said the girl with the... You know trying to, you know, because we're trying to carry okay. the show. Okay. And you, okay. you have infinite time to research and I guess Molly's give us seat. real information. <laughs> Even when Molly's not in the hot seat. She's still in the hot seat when she's not in the hot seat. All right. She's always in the hot seat. So, okay, let's just start throwing out shots that we think would look cool. Okay, then. let's talk about the process then. When you're talking about surfing, this is how you guys want to think about it. It's like, it's like planning a picnic or what we call the Rambo or the suit up. Like if Iron okay. Man suits up, there's a sequence of things that happen that when cut together, make us feel really excited. And what is Rambo's sequence? Rambo is, he ties yeah. the bandana, he puts the black liner yeah. under his eyes. Prepping he, his gun. He preps his guns, he gets the <laughs> ammo belt. He, like, he sheets the boots. The, yeah, he tightens the boot. And Soul it's, surfer. Okay, we're beyond that point now. Thank you very much. As we're talking about Rambo. We need to update the processor speed, Molly. <laughs> Anyways, so he's tying the boots and you see like the white knuckle action that's happening. He sheets the knife. Yep. He's a ready. Lo- a lot of tight shots. Grit, a little tight sweat, shots, yeah. you know, those tight, beautiful shots. Macro okay. shots. Right. That's what we're seeing. So we need so this like is suit that. up. So that's what we call the suit up. We're gonna suit okay. up like Iron Man. So Got let's it. talk about that. What is the process like for you to go surfing, Aaron? Suit up. So I wake up. Okay, what time? Early, like six. Okay, so let's call it the wake up. Just write wake up. Okay? And how do you wake up? My alarm rings. Okay, an alarm ring, rings or the sun rises. So we need to have a visual cue as to this moment that happens in sequence. You follow me? So some context There's of lots time of okay. ways to show you waking up. Are we starting too soon? Like maybe start with just I'm already at the beach? No, no, no. No, start no. with waking up. Okay, that's a good question. We're just writing words on a piece of paper, okay. so we don't want to edit. No editing. No editing, okay. no judgment. We're just gonna flow and create as many ideas as we can. So there's the alarm clock shot, something wake up. Alarm and then clock and then I get my coffee going. Coffee, right, right, I so breakfast. It. Yeah. This is right breakfast, what else? And then I grab my wetsuit and my towel. Okay, you grab your gear. Wetsuit, towel, surfboard. Surfboard's downstairs where okay. my bike is. Okay. Because I take my bike. Okay, so you're going to so bike to the beach. Bike, yeah. Okay, you have one of those mounts for yeah. your bike? Uh, for your surfboard? Yeah. Okay, great. So you basically, we're just going to call it grab the gear. Grab the gear. Okay, so you're going to cycle to the beach? Yeah. Okay, and are you already in your wetsuit at this point? No. Okay. I have my Mexican hoodie sweater. Okay. And then I got my... Like shorts, basketball shorts. Flip-flops. Can you can you bring a little excitement to the storytelling here? <laughs> yeah, basketball Aaron. shorts and flip flops, dude. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that yeah, sounds better. That sounds better. Yeah. Hey, do you guys uh, like that? Okay. Sorry, sorry, yeah. I was falling Come asleep on, here. I didn't get a chance to. to when you're snack. putting your wetsuit on, you're putting your your sweater. That's I part of the suit. I put the wets on the wetsuit on once I get to the beach. Okay. How? Where do you go? To the bathroom and put it on? No, just on the beach. I wrap a towel around myself. Oh, you wrap the towel. Okay. Who's writing this down? I don't know. I think these guys oh. are. We have two people here, Molly. See, now you know what I'm working with. Oh my God. Nobody's written a single thing down. That's all. Hey, I here. got stuff written down. It. No, write it down, dude. Write here. your shots down, please, because we're going to show the audience. Because I'm going to have you guys repeat the shot sequence so then Molly can create a graphic for it. Okay. Oh, so okay, theoretically, okay. she's writing it down too. So wake up. Yeah. Theoretically, because I doubt that that's happening, but that's Grab a good you. theory. Okay? Chris, believe in me a little bit. Okay? I believe in you. 100% Molly. <laughs> okay, and then there's the biking part, which that could be cool. Because I bike and I have my little... Let's not judge. I need the rest of the shots. So you're going to change at the beach. 
But if I'm already at the beach, I got a bike to the beach. We already got that part. Okay, so we oh, bike to the, the beach, biking? then yes. we're at the beach already. You're changing. Okay. See, that's why, because if you guys don't take notes. So bike <laughs> to the beach, and then I lock up my bike, and then I take the surfboard onto the beach, and then I put my wetsuit on. And where and do you put the suit on? You just right there in right sand, in the or sand. you going back there? Right, well, right okay. I find the where I want to surf at, and then that's when I put my bag down and my surfboard down and change into my wetsuit. Got it. Go and for the I, go for the moments. We don't have, we don't have to okay, like do second I, to second. And then I uh, pull the wax out of my backpack, wax just it down. Wax okay, so the up. way we just described this is wax board. Wax board. Okay. Then I finish zipping it up. You put on your wetsuit? Like only halfway. You finish way. off? Okay. Yeah, and then I put on all the way. Yeah. And then I do a little stretching. Okay. Stretch? Like light, real light. Just That's like fine. real quick. Just slap. And then I... Add a lot of editorial. What am I Can I just tell you, like, it's a two-hour show, yeah. you guys? Okay. Like, this is going to um, be like five. Three hours, hours later, okay. I'm still <laughs> describing Aaron's, like, fart No, we're getting... We're Come like 30% on. through this. And then I put the... <laughs> Let's move. Come I on. I put the leash on. Yes. You know? Yeah. And then I just... I run and then dive on it, you know? You run and you dive into the ocean. Yeah, on the board and on then the it board. goes shh, and then I... You duck dive? Is that when you say dive? No, or, just no, like just... a slide on the water to like okay. try to clear as much space, you know? Okay. okay. And then I just... You paddle out. Yeah. The paddle. Then, Let's try to use words here. <laughs> I paddle out. Right. How far out are you going? Pretty far. Okay. To or where not the, that far. Where the waves break, right? Yeah. Past where the waves break. Right. Past where the waves and break. Then and then it's what? cool. We should get some shots of some birds because there are always all these cool birds out there. Stay in the suit up. <laughs> all right. Suit Gosh. Up. It's like Wait, uh, I'm, already, with, I'm already surfing work, now. No, though. you're not. You just paddled out so past paddled the out. break. Are you okay. sitting on your board? Now I sit. You're waiting. Now I sit. What are you, what are you looking for? First, I like to get a feel of what's going on Good. with the waves. You know, Can you like get a feel? You're kind of surveying it. You're surveying just kind of taking it. in the moment. Yeah, how often the waves come. How do you do a little are. ceremony, kind of pay homage to the ocean? No. no. Okay, some surfers are very spiritual. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I should, that's too much to expect from people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, right? we're talking yeah. to. So, I mean, I, I, at the I, most... You know, I find the guy who's, I think, the best guy out there, and then I just make sure I don't get in his way. Okay. And okay. try that's to good. do what he does. Okay, you know? so you're kind of surveying the landscape, and like, yeah. that guy... Stay away from that dude. Yeah, stay don't away cut from off that his guy. line. Don't, yeah. don't mess with him. He knows up. what he's doing. So okay. He'll get mad so you're waiting for your moment. Yeah, and then I'm just waiting. Okay. Yeah. Sitting on top of your board. Sitting on the board. Knees in the water. Are yeah. you afraid that our sharks might come or anything? Is that across your mind? Always. Of, yeah. right. Yeah. Because uh, what am I gonna fish? do? You know, it's yeah. like he do? comes. And there have been <laughs> sharks around here too. Yeah. Sometimes he dolphins. You punch him. Are you writing this? No, yeah, they, they, I, got, I got to they the point where Molly, I Molly, you know the kind of talent I'm working That's with? That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, the birds. They're, they're, they can either cool walk birds. or they can chew gum. But two things. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just keep okay. going here. Okay? So we got these shots. It, it's becoming very visual in my mind right now. Okay. Let's not worry about any other stuff. Okay. Okay? And then you see your wave. Something catches your eye. something now looks good. Time. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right, now what are you doing? You paddling in? I get all excited. You paddle then, in to the break? No, I just like... I, I tr pivot with my legs, I do some thing, and then you just shoo, you turn it around. You, know, you turn and catch it. And then, yeah, I catch it, and I'm like looking back and paddling faster and faster, and then finally, like, you know? No, that's why we need I, words. I paddle really fast and hard at the end, and then I just pop up. You pop up on your board? And now I'm on it. You're on it. And I'm, All right. and I'm You're good. riding. Yeah, and it's good. Do you cut back and forth, or are you just riding it in? Well, I got a long board. That's just kind of like a medium range, so I don't do a lot of cuts. You can't do anything. Okay, yeah, I, get I just it. stay right where I'm. You want to ride the wave. the wave. I get it. That's it. Okay, you ride it all the way down, and that's, then you you bend and ship at the end, right? Yeah. Once it's like the wave's gonna like whoosh, right I just before, bail out before that, out. and then I paddle out again. Okay, and it's cool. It's really fun. That's the best and then part. The bail out. Okay, yeah. now let's talk about the sounds and the smells, and this is where we can add some texture to this story. What other things are you hearing and seeing or smelling? So, waves crashing. Waves crashing. Saying. Waves crashing is a good one. Birds. The birds. Birds flying cocking. around. Because they fly so close to you, it's like they're saying, like, get out of here. Seagulls, like, right? Yeah. And yeah. other kinds of birds. There's, like, frigates, I think they're called. Okay. Whatever. Great. Frigates. Yeah. Friggin' A. <laughs> we got frigates in the shot. <laughs> okay. So, here's where I want you guys to think. Storyboarding is primarily a visual medium. But believe it or not, we can convey the other senses, sounds that we hear and things that we smell. How do we communicate the smell, the salt, the brininess? Mm, yeah. Aaron takes a deep breath. He closes his eyes. His nostrils fill. And then we cross cut to like the, the, the foam or the, 
the wave crashing against the pylons of the pier or something like yeah. that. So it's like, you what see? was he smelling? What was he smelling? So What's he thinking about? Shot. Okay, now he's out there and he feels really peaceful. We can't see what's in his mind, but we can infer it. We can see time lapse of clouds happening. Mm -hmm. We can see maybe like some wild grass blowing in the wind, swaying in the wind. That could be kind of cool. To show the He could be the thinking air. something else that's really what it reminds him of. Something yeah. very sweet. You know, I feel like, like you see the birds. I know I keep saying the birds, but like the birds, man. Like <laughs> they just like <laughs> speak into the mic. All right, hold on. Give me. A <laughs> yeah, you had a bad experience with some birds. birds. <laughs> you me. We, we only have two cameras. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Aaron. <laughs> if I had to zoom, let oh, me God. see it. We didn't even start yet. <laughs> We lost her! Alright. Come on, man! <laughs> Come back! <laughs> oh, the, the team I'm working with here! Loves Why am I looped okay? into this? He Why am I looped into this? <laughs> you dragged him, dude! Come on, guys! Get back into the shot! Alright, Mark. Okay. Over. People are going Let's get it together. Let's get it together. Alright, right, right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright. Aaron, get you good? Alright. <laughs> Uh, Molly and Eric uh, are carrying the show. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Someone thinks that you had an emotional bird story. Uh, uh, Molly, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta leave the show. All right, now you got Chris. Do not. It's like contagious. Wait, I'm next now. Am, am I next now? <laughs> Aaron really loves his birds. <sighs> yeah, we so much that he had to leave the shot. Uh, and then all right. Talk to the group. Uh, talk to me some comments, you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is a first, but it's this Aaron, is live, guys. This is live, and this is raw. This is raw. Okay. <laughs> guys. I'm not getting to the thing. <laughs> nope. This, this is falling is apart. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody take a deep breath. I'm all right. We're I'm good. <laughs> all right. And Fine. we're back. Oh, Aaron composes Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Some models here you got? This is going well. <laughs> Look at these people. Wait, wait, what are those, Chris? What are, what are these? <laughs> these are freaking, what does it look like? It's <laughs> <laughs> a hot dog. What do you think it is? <laughs> It's just so nerve wracking on the camera, dude. It's like it's actually very relaxing. <laughs> what? There. You're on the camera like uh, for any other live show. All right, come on, talking guys. and stuff. And like, I know talking's hard. Forget okay, about okay. it. All right, all right. So, I'm gonna save these for later. I'm gonna put these in the back. <laughs> All right, let's get back into the show. I was just saying, like, uh, there's like a, a, a togetherness. Like, you gotta stick together with the surfers, you know? Cause like, <laughs> it's like dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep it together. You gotta keep it together. Dude. <laughs> oh, it's not my fault this time. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're you're saying uh, the birds are together and the yeah. surfers are together? Yeah, yeah. Like, there's say? like a sense of like right. tribe, like you. It's like an animalistic type of thing because okay. it's you know. Okay. Yeah. Like the birds all stick together, and then the human surfer people all stick together. I hear you, Aaron. Birds you know? of a, birds of a feather. Yeah. Together. Boom. Exactly. There you go. All right. <laughs> and it's like a nice thing. You yeah. Know? <laughs> Write that down. Write okay. That down so I mean, that's that's shot. part yeah. of the the feeling that we're yeah, supposed to feeling, get out of that, being at the beach, exactly. being on the sand, like and this, being like, on the water. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so. you think you guys are ready? You're ready to yeah, uh, yeah. start drawing? Yeah, well, I don't know where... Just keep writing stuff and then when he comes back, we can... All right. All right. If he comes back, if he comes back. Are you ready for this? I'm just trying to okay. think what's like the... <laughs> <laughs> what's like the pinnacle moment? Like, I catch the wave. Come on, it. guys. Let's do this. Come on. Come All on. right. Okay. We need to... Uh, we, yeah, we need to do something here. All right. Christine so said about that's about beautiful, that. Aaron. What's that? It's beautiful, your story. Okay. So we can capture other thoughts? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I thought you had it together. I thought you had it together. What are you doing? What are you doing? Freaking wanker! You ruined the show! Okay. What are you doing here? Get this guy out! 
The moral of this life. Do want to know? Okay, we're, we're talking about setting the scene. All right, okay. just going let's through. Okay, sight sounds. Yeah. Smell. Yeah. Let's say we got it. Sight sounds and smells. All right, All right. We, got it. we got it. We got, we got it. it. Okay. We got it. Now we need to actually start drawing. Okay. Right. And I'm gonna introduce to you guys some rules here. Okay. Now neither of you guys are admittedly artists and draftsmen, and I'm gonna teach you some basic, basic things to draw and some rules to observe. Okay. okay. But I'm gonna instead of just like lecturing about it. I'm going to start drawing and we're going to talk about what I'm doing. You, I encourage you guys to ask as many questions as you want to have. Okay. okay. And this is kind of loose, a little down and dirty, you guys. So let's not, let's not stress out over what this looks like or anything like that. So here's my, my frame here and using storyboarder, I'm going to make my brush size a little bit bigger. Okay. So what, what moment stuck out to you guys? Let's start, start there. We don't have to start in sequence now. Okay. We can just go and cherry pick moments. I like the suit up of him getting ready. I know that's in the beginning, but putting his suit on putting his suit on like so that's on. like somewhere in the middle of the story yeah he's at the beach already he's putting his suit on okay because that Which image part? alone already shows Describe me that, that i know what he's like doing in your mind so he would be standing on the sand and you suit you suit up right before you go in the water so i would imagine maybe the morning sun coming from the background but that doesn't happen in the morning here in the west coast but if you had some light hitting you from a certain angle and making it look really dreamy and you're suiting up, you see the waves in the background, you see some birds flying. Okay, you described a whole lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Let's not talk about lighting direction because I'm not sitting here, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to shade this thing and do lighting because we're going to figure that out when we're on set. So okay. what on things location. are we looking to get on that storyboard? That's right. We're trying to figure out where Aaron's standing, what his action is, and storyboards, like the expression goes, Lights, camera, action. What we have to do is show action. He's got to be doing something. Because people standing in the frame, not very good to look at, and not a moment you want to storyboard. Okay. For example, let's, let's pick out something here. If you're going to, Aaron, let's go and reach for that beverage and then go drink it. Okay, and pretend you drink it. Okay, all is good, now stop. Now if we catch Aaron mid-motion, it's not very interesting. What we want to do is catch it at the beginning or at the end. Okay, because if you think about when Aaron reached for that, somewhere in the middle, we don't know if he's retracting his hand, we don't know mm -hmm. if it's reaching forward. So right when he's about to make contact with a can or as it lifts off the ground, that's a good shot. So you want to cut to that action. <clears throat> that's the moment you want to draw. Okay. We're, we're storyboarding, guys. I know, take your cinematographer hat off, put your storyboard hat on, we're just mapping and mapping out the shot. So when you guys are looking at the shot with Aaron suiting up, so to speak, Describe his action, describe maybe <clears throat> medium shot, wide shot, close up shot. Okay. That helps us to know where we are and what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what do you think? Sounds like a medium what you're talking about. Yeah. Medium shot. Yeah, so medium describe just to establish. Medium chest, hot, chest up. Medium chest up. Chest up. And he's, uh, what is he doing? He's like pulling it up. Yep. How do you do that, Aaron? Mime the action for me. Oof, it's not a very... It's not a very elegant thing. Not flattering. <laughs> not elegant. Not I've flattering. seen it not at beach, so yeah. that's probably not a good shot. Okay. <clears> you can get me wrapping the towel around me. That's, that's a, cool. That's a different video? Let's focus on that. <laughs> no, no, because I put the towel around my... And then I and take then you my... Put yeah, I, I would just prefer to, like, to keep it on the surfing stuff. Like, keep it there, you guys. Okay, I'll tell you guys a better shot. Okay. Okay? Him waxing the board. That's very clear. Right. So let's describe that. What does that look like in your mind? Describe it the way a storyboarder needs to draw it. <clears throat> I see a close-up shot of the board and wax going across the frame. Where are we as the camera? You didn't describe camera act, camera angle. Are we over the shoulder? Are we looking straight on? Are we off axis? I'd say on level with the board. Um, looking at the horizon in the back. But I feel like your hand's up. going towards the camera. Maybe. Are we pointing at him or away from him? Pointing away from him. So it's from his POV? Yeah. Okay, you see those, those things help okay. a lot. So it's from his POV that we're going to be looking at the board and he's waxing. So just my hand like moving across? Pretty much. I, mean, I guess are, another are, way are you, you could right do it is having another <clears throat> shot where he's in the frame too and you're looking at him, like looking at the wax in the foreground and then he's in the background. So you're waving it across the board and then he's behind it. Describe that one more time. So the camera angle would be close up, but you'll see 
say, say this is the board, you'd have the camera pointing right here, Aaron's right behind here, and you'll have him waxing the board across. So you kind of get a- So you are pointing at him now. Players. Yeah, yeah that's is. another okay. way that we could do it. Too. So let's try to do that then, you guys. So I have my board up here. Let's see if I can draw something. That's gonna be too small. I need to make that a little bit bigger. So there's, there's a board. I'm gonna try to indicate a board here. <clears throat> I'm just gesturing right now. I wanna keep this nice and loose here. And I'm gonna try to indicate it something like that. Your, your tip is up, right? On the storyboard? Uh, on the surfboard or no? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. And then he's gonna be waxing? Yes. Okay. So there's the wax, the puck. It's a puck, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And so his hand's going to be in here. So um, I think his hand will be probably in this general direction here. And I'm going to show. Do you, do you grab it like, is it open, Aaron? So here's his thumb here. <clears throat> I'm just going to indicate his thumb. Here's his hand, and it's spread like this. Maybe his fingers are here. There's it's puck. like flat, like a puck, yeah. Yeah, so he's like <clears throat> going to scrub down on it right there. And when you're storyboarding, you're typically doing very, you know, images with less detail? Well, it depends. Right? Right right now, I'm going to block it out. Okay. <clears throat> That's all I can do right now is just to block it out. So I can use a little bit more, uh, like a darker ink here. I don't That's too light. Can you guys sort of see what I'm drawing here? Yeah, I yep. feel like you're done there. I'm pretty much done for the level of storyboarding that we need right right now. Okay. So boom, waxing the board. Right. So that'll be one shot. I just want to darken it up a little bit so you guys can see what's going down <clears throat> on the internet here. And you don't really draw the background, right? Because no. you'll just see where it looks best when you're there. Well, oh. yeah, we're trying to just establish composition. So assuming okay. that's a sand. I, where his knees are, I'm not going to get into all that stuff. Right. <clears throat> I just need to communicate to you, the cinematographer now, yeah, and you're like, okay, I got it. Got it. I totally got it. I know where, what to do. Notice there's no lighting. I don't need all that information. That's too much information Okay. at this point. <clears throat> okay. okay. Now, the problem with this shot is it's pretty flat <clears throat> because the principal shape is parallel to the picture plane. If we want something more dynamic, we would turn the camera a little bit left or right mm -hmm. so that the board comes at us. Okay. Okay, we can do something like that. <clears throat> or we can push in tighter. I'm not gonna stress out over this one too much. I'm gonna create another frame. Let's keep going. What other kind of shots do we want? I mean, I, I take the leash, it's like wrapped around the back of where the fins are, and then I take it off and unwrap it. That's an action I do. Okay, it's wrapped around that, okay. So that's the back of the board. <clears throat> Let's say I'm gonna try to do one where the board is coming more into frame. And this is a fin. Is it one fin? Three fins, okay. three small fins. Let's say it's like that. Is it all the same size? Yeah. Okay. Undo, 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 undo. Okay, and let's say that's one fin, that's another fin, and that's a third fin, something like that. And this is your surfboard, right, Aaron? Yeah. <clears throat> something like that. Yeah. And then you have the leash around here. I'm just going to indicate some things, and it's being uncoiled. So, yeah, this side, just, I mean, something like that. And then Aaron's going to grab it here. Yeah, yeah, that was a good way to draw a hand, real quick. Right. And I'm just doing little gestures here, you guys. Yep. Nothing too crazy. Yep. And yeah, I mean, me as a cinematographer, I could see what you're trying get to get it, out yeah. of it. Yeah. And shot. that's the point. Okay. Yeah, that's the point. Now we can get into shading, all this stuff, lighting direction, but again, that's not that important to me at this point. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. So maybe the horizon is here. I wonder if shift works here. It doesn't. Okay. Oh, I have this cool old school <clears throat> like U lock that I used to lock my bike. Yeah. And it's like a cool old beach cruiser. Yeah. So that part, I always thought that looked cool. Okay. So just me locking your bike. Locking the bike. Okay. You know? Locking the bike to what? To the little bike rack thing they have there. Okay. Because um, I take the, the bike path on the beach to bike to where I surf. Okay. And then they have obviously a little bike. Okay, so we're doing a lot of like tight shots here. Let's try and break it up a little bit. Something wide. So something with the drone so I can okay. see. Let's do an establishing. Uh, is, is, the, uh, is the surfboard on your right or your left? When I'm biking? Yeah. On the right. Okay. So let's say that this is you on the bike and this is the surfboard. Yeah. Okay, and this is Aaron. And you're not going to be able to see this. 
well, let's, let's, let's assume that's a surfboard and the fins are sticking out there. And is the bike path curvy? Is yeah, it straight? it's cool. It's hilly and curvy. Okay, so let's say that uh, we'll, we'll just draw a line here. Let me just think about the line. Let's assume it's something like that. Yep. Yeah, that seems up. like it. <clears throat> and there There's are a dotted probably, line down the middle. Right, left and there and are like right. palm trees or something. Yeah. Okay. So Sometimes you see, I always out. see the same homeless guys because they sleep on the beach. Yeah. Sometimes I chuck them a deuce or whatever. Okay. So that's Aaron. He's riding in. Maybe there's some trees here. I don't know what's going on. Not all trees. But there's something. Okay. There's a cool path. Something's going there's on. There's stuff there, yeah. Buildings. And this tells me that there's an aerial shot, right? Yeah. And maybe there's another palm tree over here. Oh, you know what's cool is like, you know, when you went with your kid, you're like, this is so industrial. They got all the boats and stuff. Yeah. That would be cool to show some of that dirty boat, like, cool, grungy. That, that's a that's site. An establishing. That's an establishing yeah. site. Yeah. That way you know where you're at. It's a shitty beach. Right, except for we're not going to do your beach. We're going to do Santa Monica Beach. Oh, okay. But that's a great shot. Okay. Something out on the horizon. Right. Okay, so that, that's how we know. So, for example, when Aaron's doing this, we can cut to a shot of a girl roller skating. Yeah. Uh, some doing her thing. Or a guy. We see this a lot. People skating with a giant old school boom box mm -hmm. yeah. behind them. And so we can see Kind of gives you the feel of okay. like what's going on at that beach. Yeah. So, like, we're seeing him cycle in, but maybe there's a shot here. Are you barefoot when you do this? Flip-flops. Flip-flops, right. So, I'm not going to be able to draw this, but let's just say, let me try. Uh, this is... Yeah, the I gear. feel like the bike, me on the bike, there's a lot of good stuff there. Pedaling. Right, and this is the pedal. Let's yeah. just assume this is the pedal here, guys. We, we have some amazing storyboard artists here at Blind, and they're, they're probably cringing right now as I try and draw these shots out. But what I want to do is hopefully make you guys feel comfortable enough to be able to just try it for yourself. Right. And this is the bike chain. So you're not using any words at all it's we it's don't all use words, visual too. it's all visual this is visual storytelling got it i don't do camera angles i don't do any of that stuff and i don't know there's the axis here something like that whatever yeah yeah right That's something it. like that and it. then i'm going to draw aaron's foot in here and his foot's going to be round for the heel yeah. and then it's going to be this kind of giant thing with his toe whatever and his flip-flop so if i just draw a wedge here and just indicate some lines and his big toe that's usually enough. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, so this is a heel. tight shot of the foot. Pedaling. Yeah. This is your. Can you see that now? Yeah. We could close uh, a little up. calf muscle here. This is a tough one to draw. I mean, it can be. Yeah. But you know, and we get the gonna, idea. We're fix it. I'll, I'll do it. It is a tough one. This is a tough one. Okay. And I'm gonna go back to my pencil, and start to shape it out a little bit. And so there's your foot. Okay. So th that might be. Oops. Uh, let me let me do this. And erase this part. There we go. There you go. So that the people at the home are they saying anything, Molly? You guys want a real quiet yeah. once we got over our nonsense? I know everyone. Everybody's like, "Don't mess it up, guys. We're good. <laughs> We're just trying don't. to maintain our composure. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't go there again." Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, they got the little dimple. That made all the difference. That's the, the angle. angle. You need an angle. Yeah. yeah. Right. <clears throat> that's okay. you paddling in. Yeah. And that's so that good. that's what we can use for that. I might use a little bigger pencil here, so you guys can see. Can they see this okay? Yeah. All uh, right. Well, let me ask them. Can you guys see this okay? <laughs> Do I need to use a bigger, darker pencil or something? It does help when it's darker. Okay, so then I gotta go to this. Don't be pen, scared. And someone else is asking again what app this is. It's uh, called Storyboarder. Yes, I, I posted a link, but I'll post yeah. it again. So a little ankle bit. The problem with this pen is it doesn't give me any nuance, meaning as soon as I start drawing with it, it just becomes one thick line. Yeah. Right, so there's the pedal. This app is awesome, you guys, because it's free. So anybody they can use this. They said we're in awe, Chris. What's that? They're saying that they're in awe of you drawing. Yeah, you're really yeah, good. They dude. like your this live is drawing. Like a good. I okay. mean, now everyone's quiet. Yeah. So there's the you know the gear. So we, we can see that here, guys. Check this out. And we're doing this out of sequence, right? So there's a Aaron pedaling in. Mm -hmm. And let's move this over to the left, and we'll start this. I think it's command left arrow. And it just rearranges no, everything. Hold on. It's command. It's option left arrow. There we go. It rearranges it. This is the awesome part of this program, you guys. Check this out. So Aaron's coming in. That's mm -hmm. him. We cut to a tight shot of him pedaling. And then at some point we got We got. We need more frames. Yeah, you got to fill because in the blanks. Because if this were our there. sequence here, it's like how this is like a massive jump. How do we get from here to him waxing? Right. Well, first of all, before he waxes, I think he has to unleash it. So that's gonna go over here, right, guys? Right. Yeah. So far, so good. Yep. 
I'm going to try some other markers here and see what this does. Let's see. Uh, what does that look like? Yellow. That might actually be better. Okay. Let's keep thinking about shots, guys. Okay. Now, just a general question. Mm -hmm. When you're storyboarding, are you just trying to um, follow a particular sequence or just draw whatever was based on your uh, story beats? Like, is there a, a sort of rhyme or reason that you go about it? Okay. Good question, Mark. At the very beginning of me kind of learning how to do storyboarding and all that kind of stuff, I used to try to think of, I just spit all over the place, think about <laughs> the sequence and I would draw in sequence. Okay. But then I worked with a couple of people and like, well, that seems insane. Like you've got this whole thing mapped out. I, I want to leave room for discovery and exploration. So I just, I have a cool moment. I just draw that moment. And just rearrange. I don't worry too much. Mm. I don't worry too much. Okay. Okay. And this is the thing I, I try to emphasize with, with people, especially when you're starting out, is to just be open, just try it and, and let, yeah, thanks for all that, okay? Okay. That's what's happening. All right, let's work on more shots, guys, because we need to plan all this stuff out. Okay. Shots, okay, I thought of one, like, I always wear that same Mexican sweater. Yeah. So maybe me putting on my Mexican sweater, throwing the hoodie up, because I always wear This is wear like a hoodie. poncho, you throw over you? It's like one of those Mexican sweaters. You know? I don't know what a Mexican sweater is. How could I describe a Mexican it's sweater? Like well, hold on, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Okay. Is it literally it's called? It's a hoodie, dude. It's, it's a, a hoodie. It's a hoodie. Like a hoodie. Mexican. It's like, like a striped pattern on it. It's yeah. Wool like on some, it's, like boom, this thing? That's yeah. like literally the third that's one right there. there. That's okay. exactly okay. it. And you got, Only mine's you got all your, black. Your, your sunglasses on and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, I got my shades and my okay, hat Okay, check this out. Let's do this. Let's go back to storyboarder and let's get on this frame here. I use this pencil and we're gonna start to draw that out. Is the beach cruiser? Yeah, it's one of those, old, like just how you picture a beach cruiser looking. It's got those cool curves on the frame, you know? What do the handlebars look like? They're like. Okay, okay, so kind of like let, let's try. Let's try. Yeah, it's guys. like, you know. Yeah, I get You it. feel so cool riding it, it's got that big old seat. Something like that? The handles? A little less, but yeah, that's it. All right, you we, we can it. exaggerate that's a little it. bit. Yeah, more or less. That's okay, because I Smoother of a curve, but yeah. I don't, I don't have your thing, you know? So yeah. the grips are here. Yeah. And I'll describe to you guys a little bit later how I'm thinking these shots in my mind. Like, why did I arrive at this shot? Okay, let's just say this is the reflector or whatever, right? Because I'm trying to figure out how to show Aaron in his, his hoodie, <clears throat> his so-called Mexican sombrero. And I think, okay, let me draw his hands in here. So his hand's gonna come in here, right? His other hand's gonna come in here. Am I coming towards camera or? You'll see in a second. Okay. Okay. And here's his shoulder, <clears throat> guys. I think, because I'm looking up at him now, right? Maybe this is a little high. And here he is. Here's his face. I'm just going to try to get his face in here. Looks, the, yeah. the proportion that I'm cool. drawing might not be quite right. And it's okay. We're not going to stress out. Just over. throw a six pack on him and you got it. <laughs> I'll give you some looks muscles. like you're riding aggressively there. You're like, yeah, it looks like I'm like, like racing. Yeah, what's the word? Right. So you're you're looking forward. So maybe your face, your eye lines here, your nose lines here. Yeah. Something like that. Now we'll give him a little big old beard. Whatever. That's Aaron. You you probably have your sunglasses on, right? Yeah, always. And where do you put your sunglasses when you're biking? I wear them. What well, I mean, I'm sorry. When you're surfing. Oh, in my backpack. And the ears are going to be a little bit lower because he's looking up. He's got but you have your hood hair. on usually. Yeah, always the hood okay. on. Oh, the hoodie. Yeah, he's got the hoodie uh, on. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to draw. And it's okay. on real deep, like I'm not trying to engage other right, people. Right. So nice. Oh, looks good. So there's the sleeve. We know that the fabric folds there, right? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Someone's asking if the birds could follow Aaron to the beach. Most definitely. <laughs> Most yeah, I mean that's Dude, part of the creative birds, process. They just stand there looking all badass. Like I just love those birds, man. Okay, so you guys see that here? He's going to be cruising. Let me just really quickly check our reference here. Uh, I'm gonna, it's got some big, big patterns. Okay. And big patterns help us when we're drawing because they're a little easier to do. I think they're vertical patterns here, right? Yeah. Something like that. It's a crosshatch look. Yeah, I'm not going to get too crazy on it's that. It's fine. We, we don't it. need yeah. to know. Right. We don't need to we do see that, the shot. right? Like huh, it looks like he's in prison. <laughs> yeah. I just want to indicate a little bit so it becomes a little clearer to our audience what's happening. And just a few lines on <clears> the <throat> hands is enough. So I'm going to darken this up a little bit, you guys, so you guys can continue to talk or explore while I um, try to make this a little bit more visible for our audience, okay? okay. 
I'm getting the sense that the actual surfing is not so central to this. Like, that might be one frame in this storyboard, the surfing. Well, it's going to be a whole series no, no, no. of shots. There's yeah, a bunch of shots, just, and we're going to edit shots, later. Yeah. We're going to edit later, remember? I feel like one shot I'd love to see how I look is when I actually go from laying down to standing up. The that's pop like up? A, yeah, yeah, the pop up. We'll man. get there. Okay. So that's the shot, and we're, we're getting a sense of the sequence here. Okay. So now <clears throat> I had the shot here. Watch this. So I'm going to move this. Move it over to maybe here. Let's see how this shot looks. Okay. Okay, wide shot. So it's right. wide shot. Aaron's cruising, paddling. Nice. No, I was just gonna <laughs> say, like, I see now how you do this. Like, you just think of cool shots about surfing in general, and then you sequence it later. So you don't. Right. Well, we're, <coughs> trying we're trying to communicate the, the idea. Yeah, we're, we're trying just to doing get... beats, you guys. Right, right, right. Okay. Let's try the harder shot, and I've been avoiding this because I wanted m me to get a little bit more familiar with the tools before I go and dive and do some of the harder shots. Okay. And it is going to be difficult. Let me get a drink of water here. Why don't we just take this moment and talk to uh, Molly and Erica. What's going on? Hey, guys. Hey. We're just enjoying this. Everyone's very quiet because they're saying they're in awe watching you draw. They like the drawing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watching you People draws. are bringing up the birds again. Um, yeah, is anybody out there, um, we got motion designers, filmmakers? Yeah, that's this, a good question. Uh, hitting a note? How many people are, are, are watching this live right now? Um... Let's see, 260 on YouTube and 50 on Facebook. I think it's an odd time. A couple people were like, I'm sleeping. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna get your bird in here. I just need you to look at what a bird looks like. It's basically a round ball. It's a round ball for the head and a teardrop shape for the body. Yeah. And two sticks. So I'm gonna try to do that. I don't normally draw, <coughs> excuse me, I don't normally draw birds. So let's see here. I'm gonna try to do something like this. Yes, a lot of them are motion designers. Good. Nice. Oh, fellow motion Animator. Designers. Welcome, people. What is up, motion people? Right? Hey, my fellow motion So I'm going to say, <clears throat> I'm going to position this bird's body this way. And his beak that way, like he's just checking out Aaron. And they always stand looking at the water. They never face the other way. Really? Reason. Yeah, they always face the water. We're looking for food. So it seems like he almost has a smile for a beak, like that little part. And here's an action thing that I was thinking about. So there's his eyes right there. You guys yeah. get the sense of the bird, right? Yep. And there's his yeah. thing. He's got little feet here. And I probably drew him a little bit big, so I'm gonna scale him down. And I forgot how to scale. Let me look at the scale tool. Mm, light pencil, tools. Yeah, where the heck is it? Is it? I saw it before. I mean, is it this tool? No. Hold on. What is that tool? Scale mode. Command option. There we go. Okay. You're gonna scale it smaller. Uh, ah, yeah, there you go. That, you guys. Magic. Pretty cool tool, man. Mm. I mean, if you guys aren't impressed yet with this free piece <laughs> of software, I don't know what you guys want from me. So he's gonna stand on a rock or something. Or on the sand, they always just on the sand. Well, this time I'm putting him on the rock, dude. They stand wherever they feel like. Yeah. <laughs> they're all over the place. They're scavengers, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. They're annoying, that's what they are. Yeah, okay. So this shot is kind of flat. So let's just say he's in the foreground. So here's mm -hmm. the, the first rule I'm gonna help you guys with when you're trying to compose things. So if we have something nice and big in the foreground here, we need something in the background. Yep. So I'm thinking, because Aaron has a fascination with birds and stuff, right? That maybe, as Aaron rides by, the bird looks. And they're never in the same shot together, but through mm -hmm. editing, we imply that the birds are checking out Aaron. Mm. That he's become a lot more important to our story or something like that. We do need something in the background because otherwise this shot is really flat. I don't mm -hmm. know what's going on. Well, they always, you could just put more birds. Yeah, it could like be- Small birds. The, like. ba the background of Santa Monica, maybe the the Ferris wheel. Okay, we can do that. Uh, maybe maybe he's at, at the at the moment here. So maybe we see the pier here. Yeah, the pier. Something like that, kind of into the water, right? Something like that. Yep, guys. Okay, that's. Oh, we're doing it right where the rings are. Yeah, that's. Oh, okay, we want okay, the, the, yeah, the the at the, the pier. cool at the pier at the got pier it. and the pylons, and then there's a Ferris wheel oh, over here. Those pylons, man, like under you know, the, the ride. 
under the boardwalk. Yeah, yeah. just by do, drawing that, I just da -da 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 -da. get a sense of the depth yeah, now. Yeah, now it totally na -na -na. feels different. Na -na -na -na. Right? Yeah, no. It's Is anybody like, throwing any money at us? No. Cheap <laughs> wankers. <laughs> All right. Edit that part out. <laughs> when I insult our audience, and maybe there's a like a little look, you know, little cloud action here. I don't know. I'm trying to design the frame. See that, Aaron? Yeah, that's good. And, that. and this is where you're gonna probably enter the frame, and now we have a sense of place. Okay. So this is essentially establishing too. This is. This is all you're, kind of you're like setting watch. the stage. Okay. Let's <clears throat> watch what happens. <clears throat> so you got establishing shots. See, I don't even know where this stuff happens. I really don't. I'm just drawing. So here we go. Aaron's cruising. Cool shot of him his and bike. His, his thing. Big foot toe. Yeah. And then the bird's like, hey, Aaron's arrived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it connects yeah. him to the moment. Right, I like that. See, yeah. so it's like, I didn't like, know where this was going to be. I just knew I wanted to draw birds because Aaron is infatuated with birds. So we, we got that now. Right? Right. And then we get the Ferris wheel in, into the shot, and we're going to just keep going. <clears throat> they said Chris told us not to donate on Super Chat. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what? That that's is. right. That's don't, right. Don't super chat us, guys, but go ahead and donate the other way. <laughs> Through the actually, website. Through the website. Actually, you guys, I just want to say this, okay? And I don't want to beat this to dead horse here, but we could really use you guys right now. If, you're, if you enjoy this kind of program, this is like public radio, PBS. You guys, the only way we can do this is you guys, if you guys support us and rather than give us a, a large amount, and I, I appreciate that too if you do, I'd rather you guys just become a sustaining member so that we can count on you to just give us five bucks a month. If we get enough of our audience to do this, we can stop doing all the other nonsense and really sit down and do these kinds of things with you guys. I have a whole storyboarding lecture. I have examples on that kind of stuff. This is just us jumping in and introducing something that we haven't taught before. So it's a beautiful day, you guys. We're here at the beach, and it's awesome, okay? So I'm just looking for things to frame the shot. That's all. Okay. All right. Let's talk about another shot now. You guys, each one of you, pick a shot, and I will draw it. And I need you to describe it the way you want it framed. Okay. I want you to be very precise about the language you're going to use and not rely on me to just figure out the composition for you. Right. Let's see if you guys picked up anything. Go ahead. Mark or Aaron, you guys go first, whoever. I think we should do the shot of him jumping into the water. Okay. So I would look at it as another medium shot. Okay. And the camera angle is from behind. And Aaron's okay. walking towards the waves, or walking towards the base of the water where it meets the sand. And the camera's following him. We we're just drawing one frame, dude. Okay. One frame. So a frozen yeah, moment in time. Camera's pointing. Okay, so here's here's my advice shore. for you. You're still thinking like a cinematographer yeah, and I'm not mapping stuff. Okay. Okay. So move the entire shot through your mind and freeze it where you think it's the most interesting. Just take and a picture then of it. rotate the camera wherever you think it needs to be. Okay. And then describe that shot to me. So I'm gonna instruct both of you guys to do that right now. Visualize the sequence in your mind, the whole thing. Park it where it's the most heightened piece of action. And then move the camera low, high, pull in, pull out, change the lens. Then describe that frame. And I'll be ready to draw for you. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Describe it to me. So high angle, drone shot. Aaron is at the base of the water. Camera's looking down at him. And he's got his hands on the front of the board. He's looking forward. And you see uh, him approaching the wave. Is he in the water? He's in the water. Yeah, so he's... Okay. His, his, so you know a drone shot there. is from above. Right. So if I draw a block here, a block like this, that's going to indicate Aaron's body. And I'm going to do really sharp perspective here. So that's him. And this is his head. Okay. That's what you're going to see. Okay. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay. And so he's got his hands outreached. Yep. And right. then the board Something is like right that. in front of him. So it's the action how, how, of jumping in. You have to be on your side, right? I'm confused what we're talking about. Am I about to catch a wave and start surfing? Well, this is, this is you up? approaching the water. Oh, so your I'm, first, I'm yeah, your first dip. I'm gonna run and dive. So it shouldn't in. be on his side. He's running in, and then yeah, he's, he's throwing the way it. The way I do it is like right? I have it here, and yeah. I just start running as fast as I can, right. and then I, butt, I grab it like this, and then I just yeah. Dive so that's I'm, I'm capturing that moment right when you touch the water. So I'm already airborne. Yeah. And I land right there when your hands are right in front of the board. Okay, and so I gotta change this shot. Yeah. So I'm like holding the board like this. 
Yep. It's like this, like a little mini push-up. Exactly. Okay. So look at this. <clears throat> Even though we're on top on this shot, Aaron's already kind of going horizontal on us. So his body's going to be a little different right, right now. Okay? And I'm going to show you guys how to draw this, I think, in a way that might be a little bit easier for you. is just to draw simple shapes. Simple, simple shapes. So I'm drawing cylinders here. Okay? And here's him grabbing the board. He's going to dive into the water. Usually if this shoulder's forward, that means this leg's running forward and this one's back. <clears throat> because you can't have both sides run forward at the same time. It's the opposite, yep. usually. Okay? So it just so happens <clears throat> that I had something ready to go. So maybe this leg is out forward a little bit. You see that? And that leg's back. And his body's here. His oh, I'm starting I'm to see it now. You see, yep. to see it now? Yep. Okay, so that's him. And the board is going to come in here. Um, let's just pretend that's the board. I, I don't know how he jumps on it <coughs> like that, but maybe that leg's out a little bit more. Aaron, you can't see it, can you? Thank you to right. Sasha Tilly for the yeah. donation. And her comment is, Aaron, show us those abs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, later, later, later. We'll reveal the finale when we actually shoot this. And Sasha, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. And so there he is. And so I'm, I'm imagining like water, something's shooting out from this because it's a big old splash. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Guys, yep. can you yeah, guys so see water splashing out because yeah. you're showing the impact. And I'm just doing a little squiggly line there. He's in the water. And that's, that's Aaron. Mm. I think his face is forward. So I think he's going to have to come forward on his chin. The cool thing is this is just a sketch and we don't have to rely on this for anatomy we just mm -hmm. need to know this is the shot and and the camera will work itself right. out you're capturing that moment mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to capture yeah. a moment so. i noticed this will also help you like if you think you are going to shoot a good shot and you draw it and you're like wait this looks crappy it'll probably look crappy when you shoot it too it's going to so. look crappy for sure mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know something i'm noticing now is when we're going through the storyboarding process is this is going to help me eliminate a lot of the junk footage that I have. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. when I go out and shoot, sometimes, like, well, most of the time, I don't really have that story in mind yet. So if I lay out the storyboard, I'm only going to shoot these shots. Or some slight variation on it or something, right? Like, right. Right. Keep talking. Yeah, it helps a lot with the editing process, too, because Oops. a lot of times I'm finding my shot mm -hmm. in the editing process. And... I don't necessarily know what what I'm looking for, so yeah. if I have the storyboard and those images, it makes I already it know stressful what I'm use. too. Like when you shoot and you don't have a plan, it's like should I shoot this? Should I not? What angle to shoot it at? I'm like confused all the time. But with the storyboard, it's like I need that shot. Boom! I got it. Next shot. And right. You feel like you're knocking it out. You know. Exactly. You just yeah, you can just check off the boxes. You already know what you got. Check done. Got it. Yeah. You need to have a plan. Yeah. Guys. You have a plan. It gives you confidence. Like it gives you. Yeah, like today, Aaron. Yeah, that's, I'm describing today, Molly, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys went and shot earlier yeah. today for a segment, right? Yeah, Molly used... We made a little short storyboard. And it turned out great. Like, I felt when I was shooting, I felt like I know exactly what I'm mm -hmm. doing, you know? And it helps with the editing, too. Yeah. And you're not sitting there finding the story at the editing uh, when you're editing. And I hit record, got the shot from the thing, and then hit record again, and then... Oh, so you actually, you put the... The image from the storyboard in front of the camera before shooting it? No, no, like we had it. Alright, guys, you guys are getting yeah. too granular here. Let's, let's what back. are we supposed to okay. be talking about? <clears throat> no, we're good. We're, right. Aaron, are you ready for your shot? Yeah, okay. I thought of this one. Okay. You guys, being, you know, somewhat self taught and kind of bumping into this, in, in the professional world, we, we can't tell to a client something's gonna happen unless we have a plan. We're spending a lot of money. We might hire an actor, an actress, wardrobe, location scouting, and do all that kind of stuff. We, we don't just risk it. <clears throat> we don't just leave it to chance. We want to map out all our shots. And then a producer can help us figure out how much time should we allot for each shot. And then what should we shoot in sequence and out of sequence? So we're going to group a bunch of shots together that may mm -hmm. be cut out of sequence later. Right. So what you want to do is get 100% of the shots that you want to have, and then that leaves you room to shoot the extra stuff. Okay. versus 50% of the shots that you need to have and then only realize, oh my God, we needed that shot, the cut doesn't work. And we're gonna run into that really soon. Okay. I'm gonna show you because then you get into jump cuts or you're, you're looking for something and you just, you just don't have it, okay? Let's do the next shot. 
<clears throat> Aaron. Okay, so I was thinking like, I'm sitting on the board, already paddled out past yep. the surf. Yep. And then maybe like the look on my face when I see a wave that's like, that's the one I'm gonna get. Which way are you looking, right, left? We got two oh, donations right. from Cody. You're gonna look your right. Okay, yeah. check this out. Is it a medium shot? Is it a wide shot? I think Is it close to right a medium? Medium-ish? Medium-ish. Okay. What? So watch, we're gonna we're gonna try and block this out, you guys. Here we go. And and I will explain a little bit more about drawing and composition a little bit. I'm just trying to get enough here so we have something to talk about so people don't think we're all hacks in this room. Okay. So I'm gonna orient your body maybe this way. Can you see your body, Aaron? You're you're oriented this way. And the way that you can do this, and I'll show you, Jim Lee describes it as drawing the ant head, like that. That's an ant, right? And this is your chest. This is your arm, your, your your sockets, okay? And this would be this weird shape here as your torso, uh, your pelvis. This is your torso. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put your face here. And if we all just indicate a little ear here, we'll know that you're looking that way. So the reason why I want it to be facing this way, is your hand on your board? Where do you put your hands? Yeah, it's on the board. Okay. You probably have poor posture, so you probably slumped on your board and stuff like well, that. Well, I'll try to look cool when we do it, you know? Well, try <laughs> for our sake, okay? So there, there you are on the water, and you're looking, and you're, you're out there, right? So I have like one you. hand is on my, my thigh, and then the other Well, that's hand very is specific now. Thanks. All right, well, I'm, I'm just going to erase it. Thanks help. a lot. Yeah, that helped me out a lot. Describe that next time. And first. then I got this hand's like, you know. Okay, so knee. this hand's out, and it's kind of on your... Right? Yeah. Aaron? And we'll, we'll draw on your abs. Glistening in the sun. Yeah. Even though you're in a wetsuit. Right. No. <laughs> but they're so legit that you're so legit. See them it's the it's the for cinematic purposes. <laughs> <laughs> cinematic purposes, we're going to make you naked. Look it's, at that guy, man. <laughs> this guy is ripped. Looks like the guy you got back there. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm used to drawing. I, some of you guys know this by listening to our podcast. I am a failed, I'm a failed comic book artist so that's why all my guys are super ripped because that's what comic book people draw and they have so much life on them like that guy is i can like his you know the way he's like it's just a, the posture i don't know what it is stance. dude yeah. but it just has so much life to it dude okay so i'm gonna draw his little eye your little eye here and if i draw a little dot for your eye and i put it at the corner of your of your thing it looks like you're looking out automatically yeah and i'm gonna be like yeah dude <laughs> Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna draw the little lines that connect you there. I'm giving you incredible traps there. That um, is, yeah. Is that legit, dude? That's me on like a good day. <laughs> that's you on your best day. <laughs> best day, dude. All right, so the horizon is gonna ma matter here, so we're gonna put the horizon in there. All right, it's pretty calm out in the water, and we'll put the, the birds in just birds, because Aaron's birds. all about the birds, right? I feel like every shot should have birds, all birds in it. And it gives us some depth. Well, we can't control that. Hopefully the birds will be there. There's so many um, birds, dude. Right. But this is where... Where's the wave at? I'm, I'm, uh, well, you're going you're gonna to ride in. I don't know where it's at. Okay. Right? And I'm going to give you a little I hair. picture the wave is where the camera is. So you, I'm like looking at the camera, and the camera is the wave. And I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, That's so we can have your eyes just track with it? I don't know yet. Now, because I'm not a surfer, and I'm not studying ocean, and, uh, and, and we could look at a lot of surf pictures, but because we're going to be shooting this real quick... It doesn't matter. We just need to know this is kind of where we need to be. Right. And wherever the wave is, it's going to be there. We're not going to be able to change the laws of physics for right. this little measly shoot. This is not a Roland Emmerich film, right? Right. So we're going to have to just stick with that. This is you. It's all legit. That hand's behind your leg and this hand's yeah. in front, so it gives us some dimension. Whatever. Yeah, that's good. Right? That's it. You guys get it? Yeah. Yep. And then I'll just give this little shadow here just to ground you. And if we wanted to, where would the light be? Is the light in front of us or behind us? If it's morning, it's <clears> going to be in front of us. So he's fully lit right now? Yeah. Okay. So true? Great. So the shadow would be kind of behind here. Yeah. Right? It's really overcast, so I don't know. It's overcast. Okay. So now he's in the water. It's all cool. <clears throat> okay. Molly and Erica, why don't you guys describe a shot in this whole kind of ripness? And uh, I will try to draw that shot. She's still there. Yeah. Are you guys still alive? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the board. 
Erica. <laughs> this guy always says lit, dude. This doodle clubhouse guy. <laughs> he says that, dude. Like I'm Any day now, guy. ladies? Any day? Um, how about the uh, view of the surf? <laughs> of like, of I need the, a little bit more information. I mean the water. Like the actual beach. So like, an Shut another up. establishing? Yeah, like establishing like this is actually where he is now. A wave. Yeah. Like a, a medium to tight shot of a wave. Just... From what angle? Where are well, we? Well, from where a guy would stand to look at the waves. Out on the sand? Yeah. Okay. You know? Just following okay. the like crushing. From the, from the shore looking back at Aaron? I'm not in this shot, I was thinking. I'm building off everything. Oh, sorry. Erica. No, um, actually, uh, looking at the shot, maybe, maybe it goes, well, this might not be a thing, but it goes over the camera, like it's on the shore at an angle and you just see the waves pressed over. Like crashing onto the sand? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that looks like, so I'm going to search for that because that's hard to draw. Yeah. Waves crashing sand. I'm going to try that. It's like watching a wave. Like one of these shots? Yeah, like watching a wave like crest over and crash. Something like that? Well, maybe um, at a lower angle. Kind of like a, you know. Yeah, lower angle, more POV-ish. Yeah. Like Where you see more horizon? Okay. I'm looking at this thing, you guys. What yeah, I see is less. it's almost like a taco. A soft taco. No, no, that, not, yeah. it's more at an angle. Like it's, well, those are also small waves. Isn't the Pacific like really big waves? Mm. Well, yeah, there's big waves, yeah. But like. There's you one get it, angle. right? You, know, you, you, you guys like this shot? Yeah, at the angle is better, more yeah. interesting, yeah. Okay, I'll draw this thing. So let me break this thing down as I try to figure out how to draw it, okay? There's a horizon line, there's something in the background, and there's lots of angles here, right. and then kind of so, some foamy like bit. different layers right? of the water. Yeah, and this looks to me like a piece of paper folded in half, but curled, so it's kind of like a soft taco. Yeah. So okay, let's yeah. try. I've not, I don't draw waves normally, I just draw mostly superheroes, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna add another frame, go over here, okay? Um, and on this frame here, we will try to replicate what we just saw. So what we saw was a horizon line, and I wish I could hit shift, but I can't. So there's a horizon line, and we see an angle, and maybe that's not a great angle, and then we see little lines of foam, and there's our soft taco. Now so, I want taco. Nice. Right? And that's really, that's as much as I can draw, and I'm gonna assume that the pier is here. Out of distance again. Yep. And then the wheel, the Ferris wheel, the roller coaster, <clears throat> some stuff back there. Yeah. Oh, dude, we got to get some shots of those pillars, like, in the water. I'm going <clears> to <throat> toggle back to this and look at that. It's hard to draw this, so there's some splashy bits there, and I, yeah. I will indicate that right now. So It'd be cool to see, like, there's... Because when you're surfing, part of the wave hasn't crested over, and that's where you're surfing, and then all behind you is the whitewashed water, so it's, like, the cresting part, you know? Okay. Is that part of the shot or something else? That's part of this shot. Wait, but that's something like, like another wave out here? it sounds really specific. You no, like wave? this wave, <coughs> it's totally crested over at this point. It, yeah. it crashed, but it crashed. it'd be cool to see it before it crashed, just right before, right? Like you were saying. Yeah, yeah. The wave has but its you own know action what? type of thing. That's correct. But for the most part, this will work for what we need. Yeah. Right? Because yeah, yeah. Mark and you will shoot this and, right. and we'll roll film. Right. Yep. We'll roll video, so uh, we'll, we'll know. Okay? We just need to know, we, we got to set up this shot. Right. And, you know, maybe there's a, like a little starfish here, kind of washed up. That'd be cool. Now, when you're storyboarding, would you ever just take a bunch of images from Google, lay those out in a board, and then draw after? Uh, absolutely. Uh, but I, I like to just draw, and you know, if, if it's something we can control, I mm -hmm. like to just draw and kind of figure out what the heck. Got it. You know, what are we doing? So that, that's it right there. Okay. I use my marker right now and just fill in this a little bit because there's the underside. And it's starting to look like something, right? Right. <clears throat> no, that's pretty good. It's good, yeah. <laughs> that that shade itself shade. just gave it some yeah. depth. Yeah, I guess you can see, actually like, reflect like there's in space the, in there. You know, something like that. You just yeah, kind of yeah, mimic yeah. the shapes a little bit. That's the reflection on the water. Yeah, right? it is. A little twinkle. Okay? This guy's got a little shadow underneath him. <laughs> it's cool. Sand. That's it. Footsteps, yeah. All right. Yeah, sometimes. So that's you another, know, just random another establishing, right? Okay. 
Molly, that that was hopefully give you enough time to like come in strong with what you want to do. <laughs> Starfish are only in the Atlantic. <laughs> yeah, there, there's not going to be any starfish, but it looks Thank cool. Thank you. No way! The blue, the blue really? C5. I've never starfish. I've seen starfish in Canada. That's specific, dude. Yeah, I don't think they're only in the Atlantic. No, no, no. Yeah, no. What are you, like oh a God. biologist what or something? What is this? Yeah. 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 Show me your credentials. Chris, Justin has one looking up under the water with the board. Like, so under the water, feet hanging. Who's Justin? Mm. Justin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a, a like a bottom no, up I, shot. I know, yeah. but his really? name is not Molly, and I was hoping that Molly would come in strong and not just rely on the internet. <laughs> internet, though, guys, whoever thought of internet that, guys, so smart. I, I know these shots. I want the our team shit. to come up with ideas because I want us to kind of figure out how to do this, right? Yeah. The internet's really smart. I know that. That's a good shot. It's a classic shot. So classic. that's that's the one. If you guys were paying attention in the movies, that's what you would say, Chris. Draw that shot. Yeah. But, yeah. but Molly, what's your shot? And I, I would do that shot. With the wave coming over. Molly? What? Oh. Um, let's see. Wait, cut back to the screen. She's had 10, 35 minutes, I an didn't... hour to prepare for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the car crash is coming. <laughs> Zero to Aaron? Can we look? Can't you do? Don't go over crazy. See this? You guys go bananas already. Just pick your one and then kill it. Yeah. What? Let me see. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. What were we? Aaron, easy, right. easy, easy. That's why you guys go bananas. Already. Someone's asking: <coughs> Is there a ratio of establishing shots and action shots that you should stick to, or any type of rules around that? And how does it change the? You dynamic? do need an establishing shot for sure, and that's usually a wide shot. And can then we, after that, it's a series of close-ups that tell the story. Okay. That's can we really do nice. like a time lapse of clouds going by? And that holds to both live action and <clears throat> motion, right? Yeah, it's story's it's a story. Thing, yeah. Story's a story. Molly wants us to do <clears throat> time lapse of clouds. Yeah, yeah, like he's in the water. He's been. He's like having a moment. Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> Nothing. Good Here. thinking, Molly. Here's a cloud. Okay, next shot. <laughs> <laughs> Time lapse. He, he takes a deep breath, like inhaling. That's a totally different shot. Okay. You, you want time-lapse clouds or what do you want? Well, you're, you the, rushed you, me through that. I rushed you through. I gave you hours of No, time. I mean, you did the cloud thing, the clouds. I'm doing the clouds right now. Okay, then the clouds. Time-lapse, clouds going by. All right. Mm, okay. Good. And move on. Nice. Okay. Thanks for your wonderful contribution. I like the other awesome. guy's idea about the Let's do the other guy's right. idea. Like yeah. underwater. There's little That's birds cool. here, you know, whatever. Got it. Cool. The underwater shot is a hard shot to draw, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, man. Someone said Aaron looks up to see who threw a starfish on his beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, underwater surf. Like this one? No, like feet dangling. Feet dangling, like the guy's just sitting there. Oh, like waiting but, when yeah. you're before you catch it. Yeah. Okay. But the like that, pretty much. Is the water in in, in, in Santa Monica? I like that even. Clear. Clear enough for us to be doing this stuff. Sometimes it's like, it is. It's like black one no, inch underneath the water. It's gonna be a little dark. Okay, it's okay. Well, well you're looking at the. Up, up yeah. I got that. So it's something like this shot here. Yeah. Okay. I thought the other shots were better, but all right. Yeah. Or the even duck diving or, ones work too. Duck diving yeah. are, are amazing. Like, look at this one, you guys. That's that pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. So let's break this shot down. Yeah. It basically, it looks like a banana, and then his legs dangle like that. Okay. <laughs> really. This the, the way. Yeah. It's Very you got to break everything down yeah, to simple yeah. shapes. Simply simple, speaking. simple shapes. Okay. So let's let's try and draw that shot here. So what we want to do is I think or we want like to get a, a little bit forward. closer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, you draw a line, and you draw the banana. Okay, and then you draw his feet dangling in, and the other one had an angle a little bit. So there you are. And here's his foot. Big toe, down there, and foot here. Yeah, someone said this is the oh, shark's nice. perspective shot before he yeah. bites you. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, that's what it would see. And where, where's your hand, Aaron? Is it on the board for I was like, I was it. You're just waiting there? Yeah. 
Mr. Always hands on the thigh. My feet are like, I'm kicking them back and forth always. Okay, and then we have the thing and there's a leash, leash somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it. nice. it's kind of like that shot, right? Yeah. This foot is way too far, I can tell it's, it's wrong, so I'm gonna erase that and fix it. If you guys don't know about perspective and anatomy, I'm gonna show you a little, little tipo, okay? This part is curved and this part is more out like that, the foot. So if I were to map this through, his other foot would be here. That's how I knew her. As if you saw through the board, right? Well, you, you, you want, when you're learning to draw, you draw through. And then you erase later. And then you can erase later. So that foot could be down, it could be wherever. He's got some chunky feet. And then we can just go and erase this and that way we know it's legit. You see? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's the shot. Hey, it's not a great foot here. I don't like that foot, but. I mean, we got it. That's you Someone called it, you Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Yeah. Bob Ross is amazing. Thank you very much. Dude. Bob Ross. Bob that guy Ross, that paints. Happy clouds. He's like, you know, happy, happy clouds. he does a lot of beach scenes. He He's like, uh, I he's think he's amazing, on local dude. access. Holy cow. Bob Ross is amazing. The he guy has, with the big fro. fro. Mm, this paints. Star, yeah. Star, mm. Big curly fro. So we see that. And there's, I'm going to check with a reference again. Okay, so it's really dark. And then we see these mm -hmm. rays of light. Yeah, depending on the light, we may or may not get the sun. I get it, I yeah. get it. So I'm gonna go back to story, storyboard. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and just really just try and knock this in out here. This is all kind of, there's a shape, but we're not gonna really be able to see any of this stuff. I'm starting to get the feeling that this would be cooler to do at sunset. For the lighting? It would look yeah. better in lighting. How are the waves during sunset here? They're also good. In the morning and sunset, they're good. Okay, so we saw that there was a light source here. I'm gonna mm -hmm. just indicate that, and then some rays out. Okay. Yeah, like okay. that might happen if we shoot at nice. sunset. And the rays are gonna catch this thing, and so this is gonna be darker here. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna go through and do every little line here, but I'm gonna just quickly. So looking at the overall process, you will do these frames first, very basic, and then once you agree on that shot, would you go through and add the details? Who are we talking to, though? The storyboarder. I mean, is it? No, I don't mean like that. Sorry. I mean, is this for a client or is this just for us? For us. For us, we're good. Okay. As long as we have a common tool to communicate an idea, mm -hmm. we don't need to go much beyond. Because yeah, once we see this, we know what we need to shoot. We know. Got That's it. That's the whole Dude, point of doing this. That is it, man. Money. Right? So like it. We're, we're making good. it look easy. Well, I want to share some rules about framing the shot, but. Since we're in a natural environment, I can't really get into line of sight and all these other rules of perspective. Okay, so let's start to put our sequence together. Okay. Okay. Um, let's assume he does that, and we're, we're going to miss a lot of shots here. Let's see where this shot go. Maybe this shot goes over here. Let's try. He could have me stretching in this shot, too. Like. I thought of another one. Maybe what? maybe there's something like this. I'm just breaking it up. And it goes out. Let's check out this, the sequence. Okay, so <clears throat> he's riding along on the path. And he's riding on a path. He's cool. Cycling. Bird's like, yo, Aaron, welcome back. What if we flip two and three? You can. This is easy. And we, okay. we this is, uh, they won't inherently change the meaning. Because mm -hmm. I like how the bird looks at him after. Right? Oh, I thought you meant, uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna get him off the bike or locking up the bike. Yep. There he is. Unleash. Maybe something's going down. He's waxing, so we're cross-cutting here. Okay. And it helps to go from a tight shot to a wide shot or something totally different. Some variance. And, and we don't have to show them every moment beat to beat. We see these time-lapse clouds. I thought I had shading on this. You did. you did too. Something happened to my shading. Anyways. So at some point, Aaron runs in there, okay? Mm -hmm. And he's making a splash, he gets out of the thing, he's super buff and ripped, look at that guy. <laughs> he's waiting for his wave. So the wave shot has to happen before. Right. Because he's there, he's, he gets to his spot, and, and then he sees the wave. And then he catches it. He's gonna catch it. It's the pop-up shot. Now, I think I need a shot of him running into the water. So it could be this shot, duplicated and him just running in. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this. Will that be after waxing too? It's gonna happen 
watch. I'm gonna move it. No, no. It's gonna have to. It's gonna have to happen here. Right. So I'm gonna work on this frame now. <clears throat> and Aaron's gonna be running into the shot from out of frame into frame. And running shots are hard to draw. And I'll, I'll do my best here. Aaron, are you like full stride and? Holding it. Yeah, I try to run as fast as I can. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit tougher. So the starfish tells me the size, and if Aaron's like here, I would like for him to be really big in frame. So almost like he's coming from behind camera into it, right? Right. So he's gonna come from here running in. I'm gonna try to just create another layer here because I don't know how to do that. Whoa. You see that? It showed me what happened afterwards. So I was an onion skin thing, and I don't know what I'm doing, so. Let's say Aaron's here. I'm just kind of thinking, moving through my mind here. So legs are kind of, this is a hard shot, you guys. So usually the body is moving forward in a shot like this. Almost like a lunge forward. Yeah, and the, the, let's say this arm is back. Yeah, get the, like that, the right? right arm forward. And this arm is forward, and Aaron's here. He's running in. I'm gonna show the back of his neck here. It's not gonna look like anything until it starts to look like something. Okay, and actually I like his, his lead arm here. Let's do that, let's reverse it. And there's his body. So he's, is he bending forward or back? Uh, maybe his, his pelvis is here. And the, if this is the lead arm, this, uh, this leg has to go back. I like see. that. There's his foot. And this foot has to go into the water, like that. And then here's his board. It's a long board, right, Aaron? So it's really yeah, you got it. Something That's like it. that. That looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah. So he's running yeah. into frame. The perspective. And I would good. actually, if I could draw a little bit better, I would have him run right from behind camera into the shot, mm -hmm. like this way. So he's coming from the he'll, foreground into it. He'll block the it. camera for a moment. Okay. He'll fill the frame, and that's what he's going to do. It's almost like a reveal. Yeah, it's a reveal. So let's let's try and get him in here. Uh, some muscles. Also, after this shot, maybe a close-up of him paddling in or paddling out. Okay, that's excellent, but you know what my rule is? What's, What's my rule? rule? <laughs> What's my rule? Stay on the moment. <laughs> like, I can, I can make this frame work, or I can think about what you're doing and saying, right? So I like that, so just hold, hold it for yeah, a beat. Some paddling would be good. Yeah, we, we have okay. to do that. Yeah. For sure. That's part of the process. Right, so there's his head here, whatever. So we're 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 kind of almost there with this. Okay, so he's he's got like pencil legs, and that's not really the case in real life. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase some parts here because there's a lot of stuff that we shouldn't be seeing. So I should be erasing that. A couple of these lines here. Erase his hand. Erase some of the water. Dang, it's getting real messy, you guys. Someone says Chris's so-called bad drawing is a thousand times better than mine. <laughs> yeah. And someone else was like, "Well, this is exactly what I've been trying to learn." So well, thank you. Welcome. Nice. Welcome to the show. Too, yeah. Oh, I effed it up. That eraser was gnarly. <laughs> it just blasted through. Pretty everything. much, it just killed everything and all the artistry. Anyways, so that's Aaron coming in. I'm gonna do a little shadow work here, just to kind of cement him to this ground. Okay. You're gonna be Light grounded. You, you I'm just so yeah, get grounded right now, there. <laughs> I need to ground him. Whatever. So there it is. Okay. He's nice. running in. Not a great drawing, you guys. I apologize. Not not one of my better moments. Anyways, he's in the water. I'm gonna do these clouds now. Erica, tell me their, your shot. So it's uh once he's he's in the water and it's a close up of him paddling out like maybe. Well, for the still, you'd have like uh, the board and his hand going in, so. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a little break while Aaron and Mark try to draw these frames. Ooh. That's what we're gonna do. You see this lead holder? It's called a lead holder. You just hold this thing down and it drops the lead out. Oh, like you want us to draw it on this right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, if you try to draw this, it'd probably be a disaster. Yeah, I, I, I haven't sure. even used that program, right, so. so pad first of all, hold, right. take the whole pad with you. Aaron, just lift out that one thing and Erica's talking about the paddle Anyone? shot, right? I got this. I'll okay, he's paddling out. Um, and then I would suggest you use this marker, Aaron, because that's very precise. And, and keep it light and loose. Don't push too hard on the paper, okay? okay? Just block it out, guys. We're paddling out. 
Now you guys use what we talked about, the theories you can learn, and do it. And ladies, you guys can keep them entertained. Yeah, the bamboo. Chris, what tablet do you use? The bamboo uh, Wacom? Okay, hold on. I'll be back to answer that. Give me one second. I'll hold it up to camera, okay? Go like this. As if you're paddling. And then face me. <laughs> it's like this. Yeah. You'll face me now. Like, move your rotate that way. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Well, everyone keeps asking if this will be available later. You never know. You never know. You never know. So what do okay. we got? Okay, let's talk about my tools. This tool is a Wacom bamboo. I don't know what this is. It's a cheap one. And the reason why I use this one is because it doesn't require an external power source. I don't have any tricks on this thing. I disable all the functions. I don't want any touch feature. It all messes up what I'm trying to do. It has a little thing here. You can slide this pen in and keep your pen here. That's it. I think this is like 60 or 70 bucks. Maybe Molly, you can, uh, do you have my Amazon account? You can drop an Amazon affiliate link. Okay. I'll tell you what, guys. Amazon. I'll drop an Amazon affiliate link in the show notes. What's that In mean? case you guys want to buy it. Affiliate. Affiliate link. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. Okay, okay. Okay, I just said I'll take care of it. And this, this doesn't really matter, I mean, you do need some kind of thing that feels natural to you. It takes time to learn how to use the Wacom tablet. But this is probably the cheapest one we have because I have a Cintiq at home that I could have used and the screen's on there and you draw, but and I, I think if I were drawing in Photoshop, this would look a lot better. I'm still getting used to these tools and the natural media component of it is not great, but for a storyboarding tool, it's the best. What kind of thing is this? A light pencil. Huh. Oh, wow. All right, I finished mine. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Anything else, Molly? Um, no, someone says that I'm up at 2.30 because I'm afraid this won't be up afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guy. Thanks for the dedication. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, you guys can blame 30 minutes of the laugh bit on Aaron because <laughs> you would have gone to bed half an hour earlier. I if know. Wasn't. I'm yeah. getting I'm very hungry, Aaron. Chris. What's that? It's already 7, too. I'm getting too. very hungry. Who is? Me. Go order pizza. You can have Go my wrap if you want. Eats. No, I don't want to. Well, then stop complaining. <laughs> I believe I ate the same amount of food as you. Check mine lunch. out. Okay, hold on. Give me that. I'll hold it to the camera. Um, Let's see whose is better. <laughs> it's not a competition. It's minimalist. This dude. is Aaron's. I'm not quite sure what I'm seeing, but I think I get the idea. And now I'm gonna show Aaron how to draw a little bit better. Okay. Okay. I was thinking closer. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you, this is the old one I made. The first one. Okay. Okay. Hold Take on. One, two. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Now, a lot of people say. I can't draw. I can't draw. How many people in our audience say I can't draw? Say it right now, I can't draw. I can't draw. I can't draw. No, no, in our audience. Thanks for no. paying attention to it. <laughs> I know you two can't draw. I've seen your drawings, okay? Audience, tell me you can't draw. I'm going to show you how to draw. And a lot of people say, I'm not creative. You are so creative. You can do this thing. I'm going to show you guys how to take a sketch like this. Mark, you can see it. Yep. And make this into something. It's called the Balloon Man. Let's see I'll it. show you. So not the stick man. Ready? No, I'm gonna show you the balloon man. And basically Aaron is drawing a surfboard. And the surfboard looks like that. Okay? And what we know is we can all draw a stick figure. Everybody can draw a stick figure. So I'm gonna draw it kind of like the way Aaron did. And I'm gonna draw a spine. So the spine runs down his body it's like that. And if you want a cooler character, you want a curved spine. Like things are in motion. They're mm -hmm. not just static and frozen like that. And then I'm gonna draw Aaron's shoulder blade. It's the shoulder blade looks like that. So far, it still looks like a stick man, everybody. Everybody with yeah. me? Yep. Yes. Okay, and when I do this, you guys, and if you feel like this helped you, you know what to do next. Put some money in the till, okay? That's his shoulder. Those are his shoulders, okay? And he has his arm down, and it's a good action line he's drawing, like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna draw a bubble for that part. So far, so good, yeah? Yep. Now, I need to draw his hips. And his hips are probably going to be like somewhere around here. Again, I'm going to draw two things. And now we have a spine, and we have that. Okay. And this hand goes up, and it goes back like that. Okay, I, I kind of see what you're doing because, like, like, with that. the skeleton, those things have to align at the very core of that's right. that body. Okay. That's right. 
So now what I can do is I can draw the torso a little bit. Cool. Like that. It's starting to come into play here. You guys yeah, can yeah. see yeah, this? Yeah, it is. Oh, you don't look like stick anymore. There. We're almost Looking there. good, man. We're almost there. You guys Where's check the this out. Does? Okay. You see this here? Like you guys know how those um, clowns and magicians, they take the balloon. It's really long and skinny. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like the stick. And no, they blow it up. Check okay. this out. I'm going to blow this up. Oh. I'm gonna blow this up. And this tapers. Now you guys remember it tapers. Right. We're almost there. This arm goes like this, and this hand goes back. So you just put oxygen into it, and you're almost there. Is this how you draw people all the time? Or I've seen you, people no. just do lines, and it just ends up looking like a really cool dude. Yeah, but I just need to show you guys the keyboard shortcut version this of it. This is the rookie way of doing it, kind well, of? Well, this is the way you learn. I wouldn't put a label on it. I don't like labels, guys, remember? I don't want to put labels on it, and so this hand's like this, whatever. And so now this this has got form, it's got volume, and we can see that now. Now we know that we're seeing more mm. of this rib cage than the other. So now look at this, it's going to become 3D right before your eyes. So you just added some perspective to yeah. it, right? Okay. I did. Got okay. it. Now this ball doesn't indicate anything, because I don't know which direction this is. Is Aaron's face looking at it, or is he looking up? I think he's looking up. Yeah, he's you gotta be look looking forward. Looking forward. Looking forward. Right. So his neck's going to be bent a little bit like that it's like super bent okay yeah. like that and then he's gonna look forward so what I want to do is cut out the front part of his face mm. take that ball and shave off the front part we're gonna do a little line for the chin and if he's looking directly that way which he is I'm gonna put his jawline here and his ear which is a letter C I see can you guys see it yep it's starting to come it into looks play like one of those droids from Star Wars right and it's gonna look like that for a little while so I'm gonna little, do a little triangle here for his nose, and there's Aaron's thing. Now, I'm gonna pack on the muscle in a second here, so Aaron's like, where, where are my muscles? Where are my muscles They at? deflated like a balloon. Okay. Now, if you know a little bit of about anatomy, this is the delt, so this is like a shape here. Yep. Your bicep, so we know this too. It's a con conservation of mass. I'm gonna hold out my hand here. This is a singular volume, but when I push my arm like this, this side stretches, this side compacts. Contracts. This stretches, this compact, so this will get bigger and this will get flatter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we know that this line will be straight and this line compacts, I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit, give him a little bit more of that bicep bulge right there, okay? And then this side is straight, and this side is going to compact. Okay, so now the wrist is here, this hand's open or whatever it is, maybe it's more like that. Maybe he's got a cool new I watch that he got watch, an Apple dude. Watch, and he's awesome. Thanks, you know? mom. Thank you, mom. <laughs> I'm still waiting for mine to come through for me too. Dude, I got you. I off topic. I I found a good present for you. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna okay. like it for sure. So this Aaron will just do a shape here for his hair. We don't want to draw individual hair, so uh, I'm gonna just try to indicate a little motion that it's moving and he's fast, whatever, and he's really focused here. Mm. Okay? Okay. There got he that is. Jamie yeah, Lannister like chin, man. You got the what? The Jamie Lannister chin. The Jamie like Lannister that. chin. <laughs> the really chiseled look. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Aaron always pays his debts. Is that what it is? And there you guys go. Nice. Uh, what I want to do is draw the center line of the, of the surfboard just so we know. So there's, it's not just a weird shape. So we know that the board is moving that way. So the center line is off the center. So mm -hmm. this mass should be smaller than this mass. Got it. That's how we know. I'm going to erase that. Okay. Now we have a thing. Now he's splashing. He's killing it. He's doing his thing. Yeah, I'm going to give him a superhero thumb and just push that out a little bit. Maybe open the fingers a little bit on the side. Superhero thumb? What's that? It's just you stick it out. It's like, okay. you know, <laughs> it's never like, oh, what's going on? It's like, yeah, everything is like, it's like a big right. hand stretched out. Yeah. What, what Jim Lee, the famous comic book artist, always says is, wait, imagine your character holding an invisible baseball. So the mm. hands are always, yeah. Mm. It's always like holding a it's baseball. It's like what Iron Man does too. It's all no tensed out. Like, if yeah. you did that, you'd be, I have a heart attack or something. Your cholesterol will be up. Okay, so there it is. Now we can we can add foam, we can add waves, water. Throw some birds in there. Well, this frame is so tight, I'm not sure we can get your birds in there, Aaron. Mm. Okay, so there's a lot of construction lines in here. And I'm not going to go erase it because this is a monster eraser. It just destroys the quality yeah. of the line work, right? Right. Th this hand's a little jacked, but whatever. 
line okay. work. So you guys get that? Yeah, I mean, okay. if I was to shoot that, I know what you angle know, I'm trying to know, come at. You know what you need to do. <laughs> Let's show them what yeah. started with. I'm going to ground it in a second. <laughs> I mean, it looks almost... It looks exactly really similar, dude. I mean, right? I'm just going to ground it right now. Poor man's very... Yeah, that's good. Um, maybe, maybe the sun, I don't know where the sun is, but I just want to ground him a little bit. We're drawing him semi-naked because we're assuming the wetsuit is super tight. Dude, I don't have to wear a wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I can just wear my shorts. Right? So wherever he's going, I don't know. I got a question. So if we're not great artists and we can't draw well, what kind of tips do you have for someone that's trying to storyboard? Do, do what I'm doing? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah I, I mean, like, I mean, we, we go with really basic stuff. I mean, like you said, the, the point is to communicate the shot, get the idea. That's so, the I mean, goal. if we right. really can't, then... We do our best, and we know what we're gonna shoot. Okay, now I'm gonna introduce these busts that I picked up. When we look at a human form, like I'm looking at you guys, you don't know what's happening. There's a lot of complex surfaces and shapes in it, but I find that if you look at something that's really simple, more primitive and geometric, then you start to know what's happening, the planes that are happening here. Okay. So when you look at this guy, you see that his eyes are deep set. There's this forehort, uh, forehead plane, the nose, and it's very simple. So if we just look at this, and I'm gonna rotate it to camera here so you guys can see how the light and the shadow, it tells you a lot about what's happening here. What do you call this thing? I don't know, a, a little bus. maquette, a bus. Okay. And you can just buy these Yeah, at, you can uh, buy these. Store. I will tell you guys about where to get this. This is the artist reference bus, the upper torso, and there are three of them, and they're all, mag there's magnets, so they all lock together. Got it. There's the other one, and so there, there's this trapezius, his delts right here. Uh, his bicep, the tricep would be there, the forearm muscle, and you can see that this part of it is super flat according to this. Mm -hmm. You can see the planes. It's, this is the way to draw, and that's how you learn how to draw. Now I have the other one right here, and I'll, I'll turn it to the front so that in case we're seeing that. Now you see, oh, it's getting more complicated already. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. I have a third one up there where I'm going to show in, in a second here, but this is now becoming a lot more complicated to understand what's happening with the human form. Yeah. And I'm going to give you guys some tips in, in one second about how to draw. Looks like um, Iceman. Polygon, yeah, it's Iceman. Man. It's every superhero. It doesn't really yeah, matter. That's it's, true. it's Daredevil. It's anybody. This is the third one's number three. Look at this guy you got. Now you see there's like a lot of complex parts and divots and all that kind of right. stuff. Some more contours. Kind of like this is Aaron with a shaved head, essentially. And now this dude's super ripped. He's got his... Um, what are these muscles on the side called? Abs. Not abs. Hmm. Obliques. 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 They're called obliques. Yeah. So he's got a very defined pectoral muscle, pectoral major and minor. He's got his delts now. It's getting a lot more intricate. He's got these little sinewy muscles on the side and all that kind of stuff. And his ear is super complicated now. If you look at this ear versus the original number oh, one, it's a lot it more becomes detail really hard to, to draw and understand. So if you guys could see that, this one... You don't see the details inside the curves of the ear, but then this one you see it. Yeah. So the, the ear is basically just the letter C with a little bit of a shape to it. Okay. So you've used these to help you draw these figures uh, in a sense. like to you, get I would. I haven't yeah, personally that. Okay. Uh, because I've been practicing drawing for a really long time now. Okay. Now let's do an A-B comparison. Uh, Aaron's shot looks like that, which we can see, right? And then cut to the storyboarded version. <laughs> wow. Cut back and forth a little bit. So I get the idea. I get the intent. It's really there. Just don't don't be thrown off by the rendering quality. First you look at this. <laughs> First you look at this and you're like, what the heck is that? You can't tell what that is. Yeah. But if you just give it a moment, you can process it. And then you two as cinematographers can say, yeah, I understand the shot. We can mm -hmm. do that. Okay. Now, Mark, I'm going to look at your shot in a second, but I'm going to show people a little bit of the difference between me drawing on the computer and me drawing with a, like, a real tool that I can control that has some, some things to it, okay? So I know that the head is looking up, you guys. The, my instructor, who taught me how to draw figure drawing, he says, imagine a bucket on the head. It's got a flat top and a flat bottom like that can. Okay. So just think of it as a bucket instead of the, all these complex things. Put a bucket over the head, which way is it looking, and then you can orient yourself. So think simple shapes first, and then always simple you get shapes. all the details. Always simple shapes. So. Yeah, well, when I draw those, I always feel so disoriented, man. Like I don't know what's where. You know. That's well, good word. good word to use. And yeah. The basic shapes. The basic shapes are what you want. Okay. And then I will draw this here because Aaron's got a butt. You have a butt, right, Aaron? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have the Asian <laughs> butt. Okay. 
Make sure you get the crack, the little the dimple crack sticking out of the shorts. I thought you were going wetsuit. Well, dude, I feel like maybe I should do the uh, the shorts. The full Monty. Yeah. Okay. Where did that saying even come from? It's from the from the movie. Full, Monty the full Python. Monty. No, no, no. The full. The, the There's full a movie Monty. called The Full Monty. Oh. Yeah. And, and that's they go came they go from? full naked. Well, I don't know if it came from that, but um, and I can draw the traps here and really give them the defined the bits here. The back muscles are super boring, and most people who who draw comics for a living are like, yeah, they just drew some weird lines and they're done. The elbows there, and his hands are open. Okay, so it's a lot easier for me to draw using traditional tools. Okay, mm, you guys yeah. see that right there? Yeah, yep. that looks good. It's, it's easier to draw. So now I'll hold it to camera. So we see Aaron's and then <laughs> this pencil sketch. So cute. <laughs> Aaron's Thanks drawing is very cute. <laughs> We're assuming that it she's looks referring to me. yours. Okay, there it is. And then what I would do is, once I do the pencil work, I would then take one of these brush pens, which you can buy, what's that dollar Japanese store? Daiso. Daiso. These things are a buck fifty, and they're amazing because the kind of quality of line that you can get from it is pretty awesome. And I'm gonna just quickly draw in here, you guys. And we're gonna get, we're gonna move on in a second here, but I'm gonna show you how you can quickly take a sketch and say that you can't really draw, for example, and turn it into something something that can communicate to people your intent. And that's really what matters. This is about visual communication because we're not turning these things. This is not concept art. It's not saying this is what the finished product looks like, but this is just us trying to quickly indicate our intent to communicate to another person. It could be a client. It could be a collaborator, as in this case right here. You guys, mm -hmm. I, I jacked up on that muscle there. So I'm gonna give Aaron a really pronounced a rib cage. And when you say communicate intent, you're you mean to the team, like, to the client. Say this is how it's gonna work. And okay, okay. now I'll hold this up, you guys. Now you can see it a lot clearer, and I can actually take an eraser and go and erase parts. Can you guys see that? Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. That's why I just do it with pencil first, and. That's it. I mean, I could do this without pencil too, but you'd have to be a lot more deliberate in your mind. Like, I have to visualize the shot first, mm -hmm. and then I would draw, and I can do that. Okay. Let's keep moving on. Very cool. Mark, let's look at your drawing now. Tear off your sheet. All right, that's fine. Mark's shot is straight on. Head on. Head on. Head on. What, what stuff's in the background? Homes, those are the, buildings. Yeah, those are the homes and the, the, the smokestacks like, that like he This is like by. the suburbs and that's New York. Yeah. And that's what he's got. Okay. Now, this shot isn't that dramatic because I think we need to be closer. So all I'm going to do is take the shot and draw something else for you guys here. So you're cropping it in. I'm going to reframe it. I see. And it's going to be a lot more interesting. So now if I just do a simple thing of cropping in you guys can then see it's a lot more interesting. So let's take this shot and let's draw this and let's see how that looks, okay? All right. Is our audience like okay? They're, yeah. They got really quiet on me? Uh, there's 31 on Facebook and... Uh, 268. Yeah. Facebook. So YouTube. let's see. Okay. So I feel like when you cropped it in, you could get more of his facial expressions. So you could really communicate what he's feeling when he's in that moment. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to draw him off center, and I'll tell you why. Mostly because your camera's going to get run over. If I'm in front if you're, of him. If you're right. in front of him, so we're going to do a little bit off center, and it'll, it'll be like he's coming right at you, but he's going to go right past you. Got it. And then you'll duck down or something, okay? So he won't run you right over. So I'm looking at this kind of shot. I'm going to try and sketch a circle here. Really light circle. You know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try to use this tool now. I'm gonna use something a little darker. This is the one that you can erase automatically, I think, on this layer, even though I can't tell. Okay? And I'm gonna draw the center line of his face, and I'm gonna imagine the bucket, right? And the bucket's gonna go like there. And that's Aaron's face. So here's his body. And this is gonna be his lead shoulder. This is gonna go back a little bit. And how is he gonna pedal out? Um, this arm's gonna go back in space. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna have a dis- Yeah, maybe we have the right arm. A little more, yeah. Maybe. No, you know what? This ha- this arm has to be the lead arm. I'm yeah, sorry. Because you have all that okay. open space right there. Yes, that's right. And this arm is like going back somewhere. I don't, I don't know. It goes something like that. And this arm's gonna come up and at us. So we're gonna. I'm gonna try and draw it. Like it, it needs to be an, at an angle, right? So maybe maybe I'm gonna just draw the finish of his hand. You spread your fingers out, or you cup no. them. You cup, cup them. Okay, so I'm gonna cup it like that. And of course, the superhero thing says, "Boom!" You just put a triangle there, and that's you cupping it. Okay, one, two, three, four. That's your hand right there. So the rest of this, I know somehow it has to go from here to here, and I don't really know how that's gonna happen. So assuming that that's the elbow right there, and that's mm-hmm. the forearm, and then somehow this connects here. My, my drawing that's about is right. a little jam. Yeah, when you're swimming, okay. you're kind of. A little you're raising your elbow you up. see the hand right reaching like that's right yeah like in the forward, forward yeah. That's right. yeah so somewhere here I think is the tip of the surfboard it's foreshortened perspective right so I don't yeah. really know where it's at but let's just say it's like that and this is maybe this is back or something I don't know this Where one's getting away from me here dude huh I'm, t- <laughs> I'm not seeing this one you're not seeing it yet hold on I right. see it you me have too. to have a little faith in me Aaron they're just okay. yeah. This is it's just the beginning. Yeah. They probably are, but okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is fun because yeah, like but I, can I don't see, where see it's going. it, but then eventually and then I see you it. You it's see like, it, right? oh, oh cool. yeah, right? Yeah. So we know that that's the hand. You can see the hand, right? Right. Now, the weird thing about hands is this: is that even though we've evolved, there's still this webbing, like we're ducks or amphibians. This part right here. There, yeah, there's yeah. a there's little attachment. Thing. Your, your fingers attachment. aren't separate. So all you have to do is draw a little of that. Okay. Oh, I see it. That's the lead hand. Like, that's closest to camera. Yeah. Okay, okay. He wants to say he sees it, like, before everybody's like, Aaron, are you blind? (laughs) And then there's a forearm here. And we're going to just see a little bit of that because it's really foreshortened. And somehow that connects to the rest of the body. And this is where my perspective and anatomy is all jacked, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's assume that's him. My hand's out front. And now his face is far back. And I'm going to have him give us this really intense look. He's paddling hard out there. Usually it's like a scared... Like, you're like, it's fierce. <laughs> well, you, you got this fierce like, scared. look. That's yeah. scared for this. Shoot, Aaron. There's the fro. Maybe I'll give you one eyebrow. The rock, the rock thing. Yeah, one eyebrow raised. Yeah. Right? So there's his fro, his J-fro. And there he yeah, is. That hair looks good with just a couple lines. Yeah. There you go. And, you know, you just uh, kind of block in the rest. Nice. That's fine. There it is. There's a shot. So this, I imagine, is going to have like water. Some splashing. Splashing off of it. Maybe there's water my here. My feet, or is that? Oh, huh? that's the the water splashing from your hands, or maybe. Yeah, yeah. From no, your from your hands, because uh, it's it's coming off the water. Okay, right? gotcha. and you, You've been gotcha. splashing about, right? Yeah, so yeah. that's the shot, and that's him going forward. Yeah, that's not not my best one. drawing, guys, but. That could look idea. really that's cool. pretty good, though. Okay, that could look I mean, cool. for the storyboard purposes. Well, that's all we're doing. Yep. We're just doing storyboarding. And I'm going to block in some of this right now. All right, because this part is in shadow here. And that part's in shadow. And what we want to do is we want to darken this stuff under the chin. It's going to be your that's darkest shadow right where, there. Where two things are very close, you're going to see that it's going to create a darker shadow. So the chin, and Aaron's got a good chin, I believe. And we're, we're almost there. Boom. Nice. Just paddling in. Dude, that looks cool, that's, man. Now nice. I see it. That's good. I'm glad you can see it now, Aaron. Ye of little faith. It's not a great drawing. I'm not going to brag about this one. Um, but <laughs> It's better than mine. Well, yeah, mine makes that's you look right. like a pumpkin face. Let I don't know. Check mine out, yeah. though. Mark. Look at mine. <laughs> 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 Let's do an A, B there. An a and B. Uh, he didn't do justice to the beard and this whole beard there. Yeah. I don't want to draw on the beard because the beard confuses the jawline. Mm. Yeah. Right when you know what you're doing, you could draw on the beard, and that's why I say you guys think simple shapes. Imagine that bucket that's on there, and now I can really draw on Aaron's beard if I want to, right? Because it's just gonna follow that line, and it'll be okay. Got it. So now that I know where things are going, he's a very rugged kind of um, a ladies' man, a man's man, a man about town kind of thing, right? Yeah. You guys say, <laughs> let me give him right some on. of his, and build out his traps yeah, there, and, uh, his muscles, and this is the board, we lost the board in the drawing, so let's put the board back in. Put a little more definition to it. Yeah, so it's something like that, I don't Dude, know. I swear, that even looks like me, man. <laughs> <laughs> it looks exactly like you. Okay, so in the if you're a superhero. bigger scheme of things, this will fit where? Okay, 
Let's go back to our sequence here. Let's see if we've done anything. Da -da -da. Okay. Well, okay. Sorry, dude. We're not gonna do any more. I think we're gonna wrap it up pretty soon, but let me go to the beginning of the sequence. Okay. And we'll do a lot more frames, but mm -hmm. I think for the sake of our stomachs, our wives, or husbands, <laughs> or where girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. So look at this. Biking in, close up shot. And you can see the drawing gets better as they learn how to use the tool and, mm -hmm. and get it. So it's pretty nasty. There's Aaron. Yo, orale, bato. <laughs> Okay, and he's like, mine, mine, <laughs> mine. <laughs> okay, and then it's like, yeah, bro, yeah. unleash it. So you can see that here to here, we can just even cut to here and it could work. Yeah, we just assume we can hear the sound of the brake. Like we don't have to show him locking the bike. No, we don't or have anything. to show all that. It's like uh, we it's should implied. Shoot it, but this is how you know. It's like was that too big of a jump? If it doesn't mm -hmm. work here, we need to make more frames. Okay, okay, mm. right. Mm -hmm. Right. The waves lapping on the ocean. Star, uh, an Atlantic starfish crawling on the. <laughs> it's just like we're gonna get that. Problem. It swam from the, the prop, Atlantic. The prop store. We just threw it right on there. And <laughs> a then, plastic one. Yeah, exactly. We got it. And so Aaron's like doing the wax on his board. He's up. getting ready, and he's probably casting a shadow on the board, which would look really cool. He looks up. Time, time lapse, lapse clouds that are just here. Yeah, that waxing part's, for a long yeah, time. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyways. It, but you know what? Actually, it shows the passage of time, which is like there's a couple of the steps he's got to do, right? And then he comes in. Starfish gets out of the way. Sebastian, is it Sebastian the starfish? No, that's a crab. <laughs> Anyways, he's jumping in, splashity splash. That seems to work, right? Yeah. He's in the water, chilling. Well, oh, maybe chilling. the paddling shot goes right after 10A. Well, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Don't judge it yet. And he's like, I see a wave. Boom! Then he gets fierce. Then he gets it. Yeah. See? Okay. Na 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 na. Okay. We we will do one more frame. I think we need one more frame, and we're gonna show him catching that wave. That's so superhero like, like right there. That was. So he doesn't look like a total poser. <laughs> are you are you going left or right? It depends. Okay. Just give me a direction, dude. Whatever one you want to draw, draw is easier. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll draw the board here. Let's just say this is the board. Okay, now Aaron is going to be here, so uh, I'm going to give him a much crazier, more aggressive superhero stance. You guys, okay. even though that's not the frame, and that lead hand there, I get it. He's going to be like, "Yeah, dude." Yeah. Surfing, bro. Surfing USA. Got it. Okay. Hanging ten. I'm on that. Yeah. <laughs> is that what they say? Still? Thanks. <laughs> Calabunga. <laughs> Beach Boys video. Okay, so then we're gonna have the wave, uh, not quite there, because otherwise he's he's a goner, right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, you got it. There. That's it. Splashy splash. And in front of me is like a nice slope, you know. That's a slope. I don't slope. know what that means, but we're good. Hang ten, bro, and a little action here. That's it. Water you got spray, it, man. Right? Perfect. Okay. Now I drew this in an angle that is probably not the coolest angle because I drew this in an angle that I knew how to draw. Mm -hmm. mm. It probably should be a little bit from the top with the drone shot, not just this weird objective yeah. shot, okay? That'd be good. Because drone shot objective, this is just too this normal kind of, of objective, a shot. Yeah. yeah. A little flat. We're gonna get into this. You like know? that's exactly what I see if I see a guy surfing on the beach. That's right. So you wanna, so in your in your movie thing, you wanna see shots that I wouldn't normally well, see with we my wanna, eye. Well, we wanna, this is visual storytelling. We want to have a shot that's the most dramatic that we can get. Period. And because we're so far away here, you guys, I'm not going to concern myself with detail because I just need to indicate what the heck is going on. Mm -hmm. There's that center yeah. line for the surfboard again. He's coming out of the tube. Not of the tube, but you know. This is not Hawaii here. It's like, let's, let's get real. It's California. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. The horizon line's over there somewhere. The waves aren't even like this. Are they? We do have they the are, dude. We have the, we have nice waves? spot. Yeah, dude. We got okay. the world championships at yeah, Huntington. Yeah, there's some good spots, dude. Okay. And a little shadow, right? Something like that. Yeah. And shadow casted by Aaron on the board itself. Mm -hmm. And something on the bottom of that. Starfish thing. in your face. Starfish in, in his face. Taking a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> taking a bite out of what? The starfish. Oh, yeah. Okay. This lead hand feels a little skinny to me. But okay. Boom. I like it. That's it. Right? Yep. Nailed it. Are we are we feeling more confident about the kind of shots we need to get, you guys? Definitely. Yes. Okay. Some of them might be a little tricky to shoot, just from a technical point, standpoint. Like but which one? We get the idea. Like we were saying, the head-on shot. 
if we're right in front of him, he oh, might yeah, yeah. you know go right up into your face. Yeah, yeah. you're but, gonna yeah. have that underwater housing for your camera. You're gonna float out there. Just, we see these all the time, and the surfer goes right under the. Just then dive the photographer down. Photographer dives down. Yeah. And you're you're a good swimmer, right? Yeah. You're a triathlete. I mean, you're not like six pack rip, but you got your own physique too, Mark. I mean, I'm comfy with the water. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> what do you got? You got that bod? In the water. No. Yeah, okay. Put, put it in husband the water. bod. Yeah, husband <laughs> bod, something like that. So there you are. And that's kind of our sequence. Now, I think oh, we need nice. a couple more shots in here, but we get it. Right? Yeah. Right. And yeah, there's I'm more a couple, confident like, to shoot this more now. More poetic shots that I can think of, and I'm going to draw one. This is the one for dough, okay? I'm going to draw one for dough. One for dough. One dough for shot. Dough. dough it up. And I'm thinking that. Somewhere around here, check this out. I'm, I'm composing the shot in my mind right now. And I think it's something like here. I'm gonna draw a line here, I'm gonna draw a line here. You guys know where I'm going with this? Trapezoid, yeah. Okay. Well, there's a lot of things we can do here. These are getting into like super um, dramatic shots. So this should go here, that should go here. Mark, do you know what he's doing? The, under the pier? Under the boardwalk. Ah, okay. Board oh, yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. I see it. I knew it. Da, na, 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 na. That pier looks cool. It's like Roman arches or something. Yeah. So, so looking out into are. the horizon? No, okay. Hold or on, hold the waves hitting them. Let's see. Yeah, like that. hold on. Okay. And then Aaron's out here somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to frame him through things. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't like this composition now. I just don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase Aaron there, get rid of Aaron. You've just been erased. Life would be easier if it were that simple, but okay, <laughs> option, man option. I'm going to scale this up. A little tighter? Go undo, uh, and I need to move it over here. Okay, so then I can put Aaron back here. That's Aaron waiting for the lights. Nice. Okay, because yeah, I didn't want to frame him outside. It just seems like it's not designed. Yeah, better composition. Okay. Now, I don't know. These things might have some kind of structure. No, they don't have that, do they? Um, I think they I have know. some kind of a thing. I don't know. I don't know. They have something. They may okay. or may not, yeah. Kind of but what arch. I want to do is I want to see, like, the little barnacles, yeah, muscles, barnacle. and all that kind of stuff. I know there's something down here. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I just don't know what it is it's right like now. It's like that wood. It's old. Yeah, it's wood. It's tarred wood and stuff like yeah. that, right? And so I'm going to do this to indicate the reflection and something like that. Yeah, that's cool. yeah it's a good that perspective. Cool, right? That that's should look cool. good. Yeah. Right. Very cool. And I'm going to just block it in now. I'm going to make this brush ginormicon. Boom. So you guys get the sense. And I'm going to show you what we could have done comes with to this. Life. I know. Look at it. Right? Like, we can just... I wonder if my computer can keep up with me. I'm going to show you another trick in a second here. And then now we have to do this. Dude, if this whole future thing doesn't work, you could draw storyboards, man. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't make enough money drawing storyboards. But the the true pros, the ones, the people we hire, when you see them draw, you're like, whoa, dope, no way, you can't compete. And I'm not trying to compete. What I'm trying to do is draw like a director. I'm not trying to draw like I'm trying to get a job. Right. Drawn like a director. That's the yeah. name of the right. title, dude. There well, the per the purpose is we want to be directed in our shots. So. Yeah. 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 You, you want to know what the heck you're doing out there, right? Mm -hmm. And let me just do Because even you, just looking at this drawing, I can think of like maybe there's a cool reveal shot around one of the pillars and then all you see. Yeah, yeah. So, so what so we can do is more ideas, ideas, Mark, so. Mark can be on a pillar and float to the right and reveal you right. in the frame. Something like mm -hmm. that, yeah. Right? So some of the shots, when we're looking for transitions, now we're not even doing any transitions in this thing. It's just hard cuts. Mm -hmm. Some of the transitions could have been Aaron comes to frame as he's running into the waves. And then Mark is on a black frame and he comes out and we see Aaron moving into the frame. So that blackness hides the edit between those two points. Uh, okay. You follow me? Yep, so yep. we're in the ocean and then Aaron comes running and he's about to jump into it. He, he obliterates like the frame. Cover, covers the camera. Covers, covers the, camera. the camera. And then you cut to and this. Then, or, or he does something and Mark drops into the water. And Mark comes out of the water here. Mm -hmm. Those on the are other ways. Side? On the, on the, somewhere it's totally differently. Ah, yeah, so yeah. that's then because in a moment of the camera jostling and looking down, or we've lost our direction, when we reemerge and we bubble up, Aaron's like continuing that motion, but he's somewhere else. So we can right. we can cover a lot of time and space. Mm -hmm. Now, look at what this does for us. I'm gonna move this frame somewhere, like you know, 
No, no, no. Oh, oh no. Oh door. Don't die on us. Mm. Oh, I can see her grinding. Okay. Look at this now. So time lapse. Aaron's running out. He splashes into the water. He's making his way over there. Yeah. Maybe Such this is where the cloud time lapse goes. I'm sitting out there waiting. Hmm. Mm, that could be yeah. time pass while, while, while he's I looking for the wave. Waiting. That's where time really passes. Sometimes you gotta right. wait a while. Okay. Okay. So we can take this. Oh, snappage. We can take that and we can move it over a little bit, like here. So Aaron runs out, splashes into the water. We see him get out there. Time's like chilling. Or perhaps it should be this. We After that, switch those. The yep. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So there we go. It's chilling. Ah! I my wave's found here. Something. Yo, brah. Yeah. I'm gonna go get it. Yo, brah. Let's do this. Gonna get lit right now, bro. <laughs> okay. Keep it at 100, <laughs> brah. Jabrowski, let's do this. We just and he's like, bum, 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 bum. There he goes, dude. He's like, that's yeah. my favorite frame, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's the hero yeah. shot right that's there. The that's you the hero shot. Understand. You didn't even understand that frame. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and we should have some hot girls in the foreground. He's like, woo, nice one. <laughs> What's your name? Call me. You have Call something me. stuck to your face. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm hot. He's like, no. It's like a jellyfish right in his face. You gotta, no, oh, I thought awesome. that was a bash at my beard uh, or something. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we can have Aaron smile. Let, let's give Aaron a smile. Let's just do that it. That shot, you're right. It is kind of lit. Like, it's like basic. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to draw Aaron's face. We're going to be really tight on his face now. And he's here. Mm -mm -mm. There's his superhero chin. Come up, draw his ear, boom. His superhero nose. Man, boom. that is so That's just like, dude. and he's like, boom. Yeah. yeah, sweetie, I got this. Don't worry. And um, his eye, you know, something like this. He's got the the one eyebrow lifted. This is not really smiling. This is him super. <laughs> this is angry. like a grin. He's like, yeah. dude, I got this. This is a fierce. I got this. Fierce Aaron. Don't forget the starfish on his face. Okay, I will. Just Dude, that guy it. looks so cool, man. <laughs> That's Aaron? <laughs> yeah, that, that guy's too cool to be me, man. Bushy brow, and he's got his curly hair, whatever. Chafro. Chafro. He's like got he something. broke an egg on my head there. Oh, you, you never let me finish, Aaron. You could be a caricature artist. <laughs> boom, 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 yeah. Boom. That the traps. He's got his traps. You know, there he is. He's got really. He's ready to go. Hey, ladies. <laughs> and then starfish right here. <laughs> and if we had Erica animate this, oh man, it, in motion. It's a little thing. He's got little water on him. He he needs to be happier than that. Yeah. It would be my pleasure to animate that. <laughs> Right? Eat there your heart is. out, Aquaman. Yeah. <laughs> that is <laughs> the Jewish Aquaman. <laughs> Jaquaman. He's a new kind of hero. And he's coming to the beach in Santa Monica any day now. Okay, there he is. And what we can do is like, let's go through the sequence, you guys. Chilling. It's awesome. Time is going by. He hasn't caught his wave yet. And yeah, I got my wave. Catch this. Did see anybody catch us on camera? Boom! Hang it. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, the star guys. right there. Oh man. I think we're done. Great. Yeah. I've committed That's a major it. faux pas. I'm chewing gum while I'm talking. That's bad manners, you guys, but I don't want to kill these guys, so I'm put a piece of gum. <laughs> I hope you guys like this episode of Design Fundamentals where you're gonna do storyboarding. And we're going to document the entire process. So we'll be shooting this, but we'll also be shooting ourselves shooting this so you guys can see the setup. So meta. And then we'll go into edit. We'll document the whole thing so you guys can see how these boards translate into live action. When we're on set, things are going to change, and that's okay. This is a blueprint. This is a guide. These are goalposts. This doesn't mean that we literally have to produce these shots, except for the shot with starfish on Aaron's eye. Other than that, every shot is kind of up for debate, and there's a lot more cool shots. And maybe next time I will get into some tips and techniques on drawing things in perspective, the Achilles heel of most people. We can talk about not standing on a tightrope to create dimension in placing images in the frame and do a little bit more of the large, medium, small framing. And I have a whole lecture and a deck on this, you guys. Maybe we can share it. I don't know. 
let's see what happens, you guys. Yeah. If you guys enjoy this, if you want to see more content like this, if this is helping you in your career and your career path, or if it just makes you happy, you guys, here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. Instead of reaching out for that Starbucks coffee, take that money and go and support us, become a sustaining member. This is what we wanna do. This is really, this makes me happy to contribute, to share knowledge with you guys, but we need your support. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to do this for much longer. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna say goodbye on behalf of the entire team. To my right is Aaron, Mark, and I'm gonna cut to the other room and say goodbye to Erica and Molly and come back to me. <laughs> goodbye, you guys. Goodbye. See you next time. Remember, just remember, you're not defined by your past. The future is what you make it. See you guys next time.